For those who are joining us again, you're listening to and watching the Worldwide Truth of God radio and television program. This is a pre-recorded and commercial-free program coming to you from the General Assembly of the First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ. We're located at 2431 Frankfurt Avenue, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, here in the United States of America, where Pastor Gino Jennings, Pastor Gino Jennings, our leader, teacher, guide, and general overseer. Today's broadcast coming to you from the Delmarva Convention Center, the Delmarva Convention Center, located on the state line between Delaware and Maryland, is being recorded on the afternoon of April the 20th, the year 2003. It's also our seventh National Holy Youth Convocation, our seventh National Holy Youth Convocation. Now you can write or email us for any of the following, a current listing of all our radio and television stations, a current listing of our church locations, both within and outside the United States, a listing of biblical literature written by Pastor Jennings, and the church's magazine, The Truth of God Journal. The Truth of God Journal, the fourth edition, which is now available for 10 US dollars. A cassette recording of this, the Worldwide Truth of God radio and television program, can also be obtained. That's at the cost of five US dollars. If you write and request copies of our broadcast, we'd like you to indicate the program number clearly within your letter to us. Uh, today's or tonight's program number is 618. Again, today's or tonight's program number is 618. Now, if you desire to have the gospel preached in your area, in person, by Pastor Jennings, or have questions regarding this program or simply regarding the Bible, again, you may address all your correspondence to Pastor Gino Jennings. That's Pastor Gino Jennings, First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ, and we're located at 2431 Frankfurt Avenue. That's in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, here in the United States of America. However, we'd like you to send all your correspondence to us directly to our post office box. Our post office box is 7745, 7745 Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, 19101. Once again, if you do write to us, we'd like you to direct all your correspondence to us to our P.O. box, our post office box address, and that's P.O. box 7745, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, 19101. We'd also like you to visit us on the internet. Go to the internet and visit our website at www.truthofgod.com. Again, go visit us on the web at www.truthofgod.com. You can also call the church toll-free. Call us toll-free. If you do happen to have questions or concerns about our broadcast, that phone number is 1-888-231-2201. Once again, that phone number should be on screen. It's 1-888-231-2201. Give us a call. We'd also like you to send us an email if you'd like. Uh, that's truthofgodaterrells.com. Once again, send us a short email. Please send us a short email at truthofgodaterrells.com. We'll be happy to hear from you. To our French-speaking listeners, nos saints salutations à tous nos auditeurs francophones, de la radio et de la télévision au nom de Jésus-Christ. Nous sommes la vérité du Dieu, programme radiophonique avec le pasteur Gino Jennings. Cette mission vous parvient de la première église de notre Seigneur Jésus-Christ, de la foi apostolique, située à 24, 31, Frankfurt Avenue, à Philadelphie, Pennsylvanie, 1925, aux États-Unis d'Amérique. La voix plan du salut de Dieu demande le repenté et le baptême dans l'eau au nom de Jésus-Christ pour l'absolution de vos péchés et que vous sauviez le cadeau du Saint-Esprit comme l'est écrit dans la Bible. Nous vous invitons à notre clair pour recevoir une documentation gratuite en français ou en anglais et titulé « Êtes-vous honné, femme prédicatrice et Jésus-Christ est Dieu tout puissant ». Encore une fois, nous vous rappelons notre adresse, première église de notre Seigneur Jésus-Christ, 24 31 Frankfurt Avenue, à Philadelphie, Pennsylvanie, 1925, aux États-Unis d'Amérique. Dieu vous bénisse. Nous espérons avoir de bonnes nouvelles très prochainement. That's for the benefit of our French-speaking listeners and viewers. Once again, I'd just like to remind you that you're watching and listening to the 7th National Holy Youth Convocation. Today's broadcast comes to you from the Delmarva Convention Center, located on the state line between Delaware and Maryland. Now I'm honored to present unto you the servant of God and general overseer, our leader, teacher, guide, and messenger of the almighty God, Pastor Gino Jennings. Greetings, brothers and sisters. Greetings. We thank the one God for his divine wisdom and his perfect understanding of all things. We thank him for the prophets, and we are grateful to him for the apostles. As always, we thank him for the way of holiness revealed 
to his servants for our learning. We're glad for the Lord bringing us another time and another youth conference. It is wonderful to see the many young brothers and sisters that are here and not out in the street. Amen. That's a blessing, isn't it? Amen. God is perfect. God is all-knowing. And certainly God is one. Mm -hmm. We thank him for giving us knowledge and understanding and for being so merciful unto us in these last and evil days, not allowing us to be cut off in ignorance and in darkness, but opening up our understanding to the truth and placing us in the truth. Amen. We can never thank God enough for that, brothers and sisters. <clears throat> As always, we're glad for Elder Flint and from Elder Butler of Tallahassee, Florida, and for our new brother, Brother Minister Blackwell out of Hampton, Virginia, whom the Lord delivered from the Church of God in Christ. Amen. We thank God for him being here as well. <clears throat> for my television viewers and radio listeners, as always, we are thankful for God making the provisions for us to call your attention to what is itemized in the book of scripture. Amen. If you want to be right, you have tuned in to the right program. Amen. Now to you that hear this program, this radio broadcast coming out of Denton, Maryland on Sunday morning through Salisbury and Del Mar and other surrounding areas, I believe Sunday morning, 8.40 on the AM dial, 10 to 11. To all my radio listeners, you can now see the Truth of God television program in your area. I caught it for the first time this morning here. Uh, every Sunday morning from 7 to 8, I believe on cable channel 16. So to you that are in this area, whether you're in Salisbury and Del Mar area and uh, I believe up the roads or more, how far up, I don't know. But Sunday morning from 7 to 8 on cable channel 16, the Truth of God television program. If you want your family to be saved, let them tune in. If you're tired of in, uh, in dealing with false religions and getting false hopes and involving yourselves with false prophets, turn into the program and get something good. Get something that's lined up with scripture. Amen. And then judge yourself according. All right, we're going to get ready to go to work in the Bible. To my viewers, get your Bibles ready. It's that time. And I want you to please pay attention to the announcements of the month of May. I don't have it written before me, but I do remember some things coming up. I believe the Florence, South Carolina Church anniversary is coming up in the month of May. So you that is in the Florence, South Carolina area that see this program every Sunday night, I believe on some Fox channel down there, but you know what time it is. Uh, you get a chance to make it to the church anniversary in Florence, South Carolina. The dates will be coming up on the screen. You that are in the uh, Atlantic City area, uh, we'll be close to your area uh, in the Atlantic, I believe it's Pleasantville, New Jersey, where we will be. Uh, keep watching the program. The dates should be up on the screen when I'm coming in the area where you love to spend your money and gamble. Amen. We're coming so you can save your money. Right. You know, because if you can get the gambler off the slot machines and off the uh, card tables and from rolling dice, well, that gives him a chance to save his soul and his money. Mm -hmm. So you that's in the Atlantic City area and surrounding areas, we'll be in Pleasantville, New Jersey. The dates will be coming up on your screen if you don't see it already. And the location. Be there. Don't go to church. Amen. You're not missing nothing if you don't go to your church. I keep telling you. You got your chance to come. We'll be there in person for two days. Those dates are up on your screen. Uh, I don't remember the dates because I'm busy. But as long as you see it up on your screen, you know when I'll be coming down in Pleasantville, 
New Jersey God ruling on a Saturday and that Sunday. Admission free of charge. Amen. All you got to do is bring yourself and encourage your preacher to come, regardless of who he, she, or it may be. <laughs> Keep watching and uh, stay in tune. You will be notified and you will see the upcoming events throughout the month of May. We have the church anniversary coming up in Philadelphia. Uh, this year made us been in leadership for 19 years. 19 years we've been laboring uh, in word and doctrine as far as leading people. We've certainly been preaching longer than that. Uh, next year, uh, if it be the Lord's will, uh, we'll be celebrating 20 years. 20 years already, which is a blessing. And we do hope that many brothers, we want, we want that meeting to be like a convention. Because we want the brothers and sisters of every location to come to commemorate because God have done something good for all of us. Amen. Anytime God have brought you from darkness to light and from the power of Satan to God, that is one of the greatest gifts and one of the greatest experiences that can take place in your life. All right, radio listeners and television viewers and you that are here, we want to work on a familiar subject to some and a unfamiliar subject to many, and that is being born again. But we want to take a different route. Many see the scripture of being born again or the term new birth, and yet lack the understanding of what is the new birth. Mm -hmm. Well, why would God use the term be born again mm -hmm. and compare it to your first birth? Amen. What does your first birth, your first birth have in common with your new birth? Are you listening? Amen. I want to soak you a little. <laughs> what does your first birth have in common with your new birth? Now, you that are watching, many of you say you are a born-again Christian. And you base being born again by going to a church and you rolled around on the floor mm. or you cried that day, that hour and you had a very good exciting feeling. Mm -hmm. It was like a rush, like a adrenaline rush mm. that shot through you. And because you left away feeling good, well, you said, I must have been born again. Others of you, you know, the traditional bowing of the head, the raising of the hands, or the boring sinner's prayer. Right. Or you went inside of a closet and told the priest something. Mm -hmm. All type of methods of being born again. Right. But ask yourself. What does being born again have in common? With your first birth. Now let's evaluate the ignorance of preachers. Mm -hmm. Some preachers teach you don't have to be born again. Or rather they preach you have to be born again. Mm -hmm. But your first birth don't count. Mm -hmm. You can't be born again if you don't exist. That's right. How can you cancel the first birth and then say you need a second birth? That's right. You got to come from the womb in order to get to water. That's right. Are you listening? Amen. In the third chapter mm -hmm. of the book of John, I want to take my time and take this apart. What does the new birth have in common with the first birth? Amen. 
What are the elements of the new birth? When the umbilical cord is attached to the mother and the child, what does that have to do with being born again? Amen. What is the afterbirth? In what position? When a child come out the womb, why is it necessary that it come out head first? Amen. How does that point to the new birth? And if a child doesn't come out head first, but come out feet first, and yet the head still in the womb, how does that point to the new birth? Amen. When the umbilical cord is severed, mm -hmm. cut from the child, mm. detaching it from the mother. Amen. How does that point to the new birth? Amen. Amen. When the water break and come from the womb, which clear a passageway for life to come from darkness. How does that tie with the new birth? Amen. What is the placenta? Mm -hmm. How does that tie to the new birth? So, brothers and sisters, Jesus hmm. used a earthly term, That's right. birth. birth. That's right. To bring about something new, to transform a new people. Amen. Notice the third chapter. St. John chapter 3. Of the book of John. And begin reading at the first verse. Listen. There was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. Yes. The same came to Jesus by night and said unto him, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher. Come Nicodemus came to light. He came to the light by using night. That's right. Jesus said, I am the light. light. That's right. But to get to the light, he came in darkness. By night. While the shadow was upon the earth. That's right. Shadow was upon the earth, and also there was a shadow upon Nicodemus. That's right. A ruler of the Jews. But still in darkness. That's right. Awesome the way many of you are out there that are watching me now. Amen. You hold a lot of good high positions in life, good jobs, mm -hmm. making good money. Some of you that watch us are judges, yes. lawyers, mm -hmm. doctors, professors. That's right. I get emails from deans. I get emails from school teachers. I get emails from principals, people that hold all type of positions. Amen. You rule, you stand head of other people, right. giving commands and orders for them to follow. That's right. But yet when it comes to God, mm -hmm. you're ignorant. Right. Amen. You know you must marvel at man's ability. He declared himself as being able to send a rocket into space. That's right. A satellite that can see a dime on the ground. That's true. But he yet can't see the darkness that he's in. That's right. That's right. Are you listening? Amen. A great ruler, an educated man. Mm -hmm. Come to the Messiah. Come to the anointed one. Come to the only Messiah in scriptural history. That's right. Apart from Jesus, there was no other Messiah. No. There is no other Messiah. Mm -hmm. A man may come on the scene who try to act like, like the Messiah. That's right. That's right. But that don't make you the Messiah. The Messiah. That's right. Are you listening? Amen. 
Listen. The same came to Jesus by night and said unto him, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher. Thou art a teacher. God. Come from God. That flesh that Mary birthed was taught. That's right. The flesh that Mary birthed was the student of the eternal spirit, God. But as my father. God was in that flesh. Mm -hmm. God housed himself in flesh. That's right. The flesh was simply a earthly tabernacle or a temporary dwelling place for God. That's right. For example purposes. Amen. Listen. The same came to Jesus by night. The same came to Jesus by night. And said unto him, Rabbi, we know. Rabbi, teacher. Mm -hmm. yeah. Rabbi. Rabbi. Amen. We know that thou art a teacher that come from God and no man can do no the miracles that thou doest. Can do the miracles. Jesus Ain't no one can do what you do except God be with him. God must be with him. Amen. That's right. No one can teach the way you teach. Mm -hmm. No one can break down the law and the Old Testament. Amen. Except God be with him. That's right. Amen. No one can handle and crack the seal of prophecy given by the prophets. Go ahead. Except God be with them. And if God be with them, God gives him skill. That's right. To open up scripture. That's right. And when God gives him skill to open up scripture, he never makes the prophets contradict one another. No, no. No man. No man can do these miracles. Can that do doing. these miracles that you're doing. Except God be with him. Except God be with him. Jesus answered and said unto him. Now Jesus switched the conversation mm -hmm. from compliments yes, to a lesson. That's right. Listen. Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee. Nicodemus, thee, truly, truly, I say to you, except, except a man. Except a man be born be born again he have to be born all over again Amen. he cannot see the he kingdom cannot of god. see the kingdom of god nicodemus said unto him now listen mm -hmm. you see jesus was in the light so therefore he can project light that's right nicodemus was in the dark see here you had light shining in darkness. In darkness. That's, that's right. But darkness wasn't darkness able to darkness. comprehend. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. So Jesus is talking about being born again mm -hmm. from the perspective of light. Amen. Nicodemus is in the dark, not yet understanding the light, mm -hmm. thinking Jesus is suggesting to do something. That man can do. That's right. That's right. Listen. Nicodemus said unto him, How can a man be born? How can a man be born when he is old? When he is old. Can he How can a man be born when he's now all grown up? That's right. He's of age now. Mm -hmm. What do you expect for me to do, Jesus? Amen. Do you expect for me Can he enter the second to time? To go the second time into his mother's womb. Into my mother's womb. And be born. Hmm. Jesus was teaching Nicodemus, you need to get right. That's right. You need to be revolutionized. That's right. You need to be redone. Amen. You need to be reborn. That's it. But darkness spoke. Mm -hmm. How can I go back the second time into my mother's womb and be born? Be born. Now, this is what I've been telling you people mm -hmm. who say, well, before I come to God, I want to get right first. That's right. That statement is equal to what Nicodemus said. That's right. Because it isn't possible for man to go back into the womb of the mother, mm -hmm. a grown man, grown man, then come out and be born. Amen. So it is impossible to go into darkness and stay in darkness and to get right in darkness to come to the light. That's right. 
That's right. Darkness don't make you right. No, no. Darkness keep you wrong. That's right. Born again. Born again. Brothers and sisters, when your parents come together, mm -hmm. as I often say, the seed that is in the man bear the characteristics of the man, and the egg that is in the wall bear the characteristics of the woman. That's right. So when the man and the woman come together and see come into darkness being guided by the power of light. Go ahead, go ahead. It goes to the egg to fertilize the egg. That's right. And once the egg is fertilized, life is created. Go ahead. And then the life that's created has the characteristics of both mother and father. That's right. Are you listening? Go ahead. So then the life is being formed in darkness. That's right. It's being formed in darkness. That's right. But yet it's being developed by the power of light. Even in the stage of darkness, light is protecting the child. Go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. Before it's actually brought forth. That's right. In our state of darkness, in our state of ignorance, mm -hmm. we are being protected by light. That's right. Where we don't even have knowledge of the light that watches over us. That's right. Amen. Even until the time mm. that we are brought forth. Amen. Amen. Are you listening? That's Amen. true. The child grows in darkness. Mm hmm. And there's a rope or a link or an umbilical cord that's connected from mother to the navel. Go ahead, go ahead. It acts as a cable. Go ahead. Because the mother is as a ship carrying cargo. That's right. And the cargo is embodied in water. Go ahead. Are you listening? Go ahead. Go ahead. When you are in darkness, mm -hmm. you are fed a different way than when you are fed in light. That's right. That's right. When a child is in the body of the woman, it's not fed through the mouth. Oh, no. That's right. It's fed in a whole different manner because it's in a whole different atmosphere. Darkness. Ignorance of the existence of self. That's right. So it's fed through the navel. Mm -hmm. The mouth is not ready to eat food. Go ahead. Go ahead. Because the mouth is still in darkness oh. and the darkness of the woman is equal to the darkness of sin. That's right. Ignorant of self. And when you are ignorant of God, you don't know the proper use of your body. Amen. Amen. And if you don't know the proper use of your body, then you can't use the body properly by God's permission. That's right. Until you come into the knowledge of God. Go ahead. Go ahead. Why is the umbilical cord connect to the navel? Amen. Why is the umbilical cord connect to the belly? That's right. And not the mouth. Amen. The navel is as the equator mm -hmm. of the earth. Go ahead, go ahead. It is the middle. Go ahead. The navel separates two members. Go ahead. It separates the unruly lower nature of man Lord. from the upper nature, which is the mind. Amen. Amen. Do you understand? Go ahead. Glory to God. Go ahead. Go ahead. So when God feed us, hmm. our divine biblical cord Amen. is the scripture because we become tied, That's right. linked to the scripture. That's right. That's right. And when we become linked to law, 
The law of God teaches us uh -huh. how to eat in the body of the woman, whatever she eat. That's why a woman that's pregnant, you can't eat any type of food. That's right. That's right. Because everything you take in affects the child either positive mm -hmm. or negative. Amen. Amen. So out of all she eat, it's broken down. And it travels through that umbilical cord. That's it right. travels through the cable. Uh, that's right. It travels uh, through the rope. Amen. Yeah. Right. Amen. Because if the woman die, that's right. if the woman die, mm -hmm. the child may die also. That's right. Because the lifeline Amen. becomes dead. dead. That's right. And if the lifeline dies, then the child dies. That's right. Amen. That's right. If the lifeline drain alcohol, mm -hmm. the child body become contaminated with alcohol. alcohol. Amen. If the mother smoke crack, if the mother smoke cigarettes and beer and whiskey, mm -hmm. then all that contaminates the body of the child and may hinder the child in proper development and growth. That's right. But the eating habits is different in darkness. Amen. Are you listening? Amen. So Nicodemus wants to know, how can I go the second time into my mother's womb and be born? And be That's born. not what's going to happen. No. No, no. You must go back to water. That's right. That's right. You must get involved with blood. Amen. And you must be clean. That's right. Jesus said what? Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born again, be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. He can't see God's kingdom. Nicodemus saith unto him, How can a man be born when he is old? What happened? Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? What did Jesus say? Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born of water, of water, and of the spirit, and of the spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. If you take note, these elements are in a woman. That's right. That's right. She has water. Water. Mm -hmm. She has spirit, which is breath. That's right. She has water and spirit. And spirit. Because her breath is the spirit of God that is in her nostrils. That's right. The water, the child is being formed in water. In water. Mm -hmm. But listen. It is by the breakage of water that delivers the child from darkness. That's right. That's right. That's right. Huh? That's right. Now, if the woman water don't break on her own, then the doctor may penetrate it. Go ahead. To break it. Amen. Because in order for the child to come out of bondage, mm. what's holding it in bondage first must be broken. That's right. In order for you to come out of bondage, because the bondage of your past life is equal to the placenta that's in the body of a woman. That's right. That's right. In the placenta. Go ahead. Go ahead. You know when a child come out the womb, mm -hmm. all the waste come out. It has the title after birth. After birth. That's right. Go ahead. But it don't bear the title after birth until it's born. That's right. That's right. Go ahead. It got to be born first. Go ahead. Then what comes after the child bears the title after birth. It don't come out before birth. That's right. That's right. It comes out after birth. Proof that this is my former dwelling. That's right. That's right. That's right. Then when I come out the womb and the afterbirth come after the body, mm -hmm. the effects of the afterbirth is over the body. Blood, uh, yeah. mucus. Right. Right. Then the doctor must come with a rag and water. Right. Go ahead. Go ahead. To cleanse the afterbirth. What is the afterbirth of a man and a woman? Go ahead. The afterbirth is the darkness, darkness where you used to live. That's right. The afterbirth is the world Amen. where you used to indulge yourself. That's right. 
and you are covered with the afterbirth and it take a priest. Go ahead. With scripture. Amen. To cleanse the afterbirth internally and externally. That's right. Amen. That's right. Amen. That's why whenever a child is born, mm -hmm. the doctor's interest is aimed at the position. That's right. That's right. That's right. I hope you can get this. Yeah. Amen. The doctor interest is aimed at the position mm -hmm. of the child. Amen. They check the stomach, mm -hmm. sees the head and position right. That's right. Why? Because the head is the first thing mm -hmm. that must be delivered from darkness. Yes, Amen. Before you can walk with God, the first thing that must come right. from darkness, from right. the world, is the head, right. is the mind. mind. That's right. That's right. That's Do you right. understand? Right. Amen. So when the head first come from the womb, mm -hmm. then the body got to be worked. It got to work. work. That's right. That's right. That's right. It got to work to okay. follow the head. That's right. That's right. When your head come out of darkness mm -hmm. is when your mind come in first contact. Amen. With light. Amen. Amen. See, once your ears hear the divine message of truth, mm -hmm. the head now begin to think about That's right. what have quickened my ear. That's right. So if my head is starting to be in pull. Amen. I like by light. By light. That's right. Well, if my head come all the way into the light, That's right. then the rest of my body will come from the darkness of the womb. That's right. Do you understand? Amen. But look at the woman whose child feet come out first. That's right. Glory to God. Go ahead, go ahead. But head is still in the womb. Still in there. Mm -hmm. The reason why it's in jeopardy is in danger. Because the umbilical cord can choke it right. and it can suffocate. That's right. Man first introduction to freedom mm -hmm. is the deliverance of the head. That's right. Is the deliverance of the mind. Amen. But whenever the feet is hanging out the womb, mm -hmm. you see it is in God's will that you walk first. No, no. It is God's will that your head is exposed first. And when the head is exposed, the ears is exposed. That's right. If you're trying to walk first before the head receives light, Amen. you can choke yourself. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Because you have no sense of direction. That's right. Do you understand? That's right. So if the feet is hanging out, Amen. But the head is still in the womb. Strange. You still in darkness. Still in darkness. That's right. You still in darkness. They have begotten. Listen. In Hosea chapter five and at verse seven. Glory to God. They have dealt treacherous. They have dealt treacherously against the Lord. Against God. For they have begotten strange children. They have begotten strange, strange children. Strange. Strange children. Foreign. That's right. It is foreign children. Mm -hmm. I don't mean from foreign countries. No. I don't mean strange by not knowing you, but a Gentile people. That's it. A people that is uncircumcised from the heart. A people that is not yet in accordance by obeying the Almighty God. That's right. Amen. How can I be go back the second time into my mother's womb? And be born. And be born. Mm -hmm. Going back in the womb is not the answer. No. Because whenever you go back to the womb, you're going back to the past life. That's right. You're going back into darkness. And just like the child eat different in the womb or in darkness, when you go in the world, you eat different because now your diet is corrupt. That's right. That's right. 
That's right. Are you listening? Amen. Take your time. The umbilical cord that links life to life. The umbilical cord is a mediator. Mediator. That's right. It is a mediator Go ahead. to a life that is greater mm -hmm. and there's another life that is lesser. What do you mean? That's right. Shall have life is great, but in one sense is a lesser life because it don't have knowledge of its existence. That's right. <clears throat> so now it must be taught, mm -hmm. raised, fed, it can't do it on its own. Amen. But before you can be fed now in the light, mm -hmm. your umbilical cord must be cut. Cut. That's right. right. Viewers, <laughs> many of you are going to church and shouting. Amen. But there's an umbilical cord. That's right. Still dangling on your body. That's right. The cutting of the umbilical cord. Represent towards the new birth. Amen. The separation go ahead, go ahead. of darkness go ahead. and light. That's right. Because when you cut the umbilical cord of a child, mm -hmm. then the child have no more ties with the darkness that it came from. That's right. That's right. Are you listening to me? Amen. When you cut the umbilical cord of the child, then the child have no more ties. That's right. With the darkness that it came from. So all the elements that came out with the body mm -hmm. is simply symbolic. Go ahead. To what the child was involved in while it was in darkness. That's right. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. Within the body of the woman, sometimes the child bowels will pass. Mm -hmm. Within her body. That's right. When you say after birth, it means that. Amen. I mean, all everything the child done while it was in darkness, mm -hmm. when that water break, and the child come out, mm -hmm. all the waste, yes. everything. That's right. Comes out from the woman. For the time of our past life. Listen. In 1 Peter chapter 4 and at verse 3. For the time. For, for the time past of our life. For the time past of our life. May suffice us to have wrought the it will. It satisfied us when we wrought the will. Of the Gentiles. This when you was in the placenta of the world. That's right. That's right. When you was in the placenta of the world, you was involved with the Gentiles. That's right. You was in darkness. darkness. Because when the woman water breaks, because the child body begin to grow. Amen. So the sack of water become too small. Mm -hmm. To hold the child because it begins to grow. And then this is why you see the woman stomach move. Because the child is fighting for more room. That's right. That's right. Fighting for freedom. That's right. But it take the pressure of water. That's right. To give it the freedom that it needs. Amen. It takes the moving of God, which is living water, living that water. give us the necessary freedom that we need to come from the womb of the world. That's right. And the womb of the world is as a close sepulcher. That's right. That's right. So when the trumpet is sound, go ahead. Go ahead. In the delivery room, you hear trumpets. That's right. Go ahead. You hear voices. Amen. Telling the mother, push. Go ahead. Go ahead. And when she push, she's applying pressure. That's right. That's right. She's, you can see the effects without. Amen. But the child feel it within. Amen. And she began to crown. Glory to God. That's right. In Chabel, why? She's hurting. That's right. Life is afflicting pain mm -hmm. upon life. Amen. Go ahead. 
because it's a painstaking process to bring life out of darkness. That's right. That's right. So whenever you have people you love Mm -hmm. in the womb of the world, shut up in darkness. Amen. You begin to go to God in their behalf, pushing. Pushing. Go ahead. Go Go ahead. Go ahead. Pushing. That's right. Trying to apply heavenly pressure. That's right. That's right. They get them out of the womb where the placenta have them gripped. Amen. Travail. But before they can come out of the support, out of the placenta, mm. pressure, pressure that's right. must break it. That's right. In order for you to come out the world, the pressure of the scripture Go ahead. must break the stronghold. That's right. That's upon right. your life. That's right. And just like the water released out the room, Go ahead. the womb, the living water. Hallelujah. Amen. The spirit of God. That's right. Help pushes you That's right. from darkness. Amen. And the first thing that be exposed is the head. That's right. That's right. Go ahead. The ear here. Go ahead. You understand? Go ahead. The ear of faith cometh by hearing. That's right. Hearing by the word. But that's why you find me, people. Sometimes, the child have a hard time coming out the womb. That's right. Hard time. So sometimes the doctors have to resort to another method. C-section. That's right. Glory to God. Go ahead. Not a large incision. Mm-hmm. They take a little sharp object. That's right. That's right. Like you would take a shovel. Mm-hmm. Just dig in the earth. Amen. They cut the earth. Cut it. That's right. And when they cut the earth, then the doctor to have skillful hands, because he don't want to handle life deceitfully. That's right. Go ahead. Fearless? Your preacher got to have skillful hands. That's right. So he don't handle the word of God deceitfully. That's right. His hands must be clean with divine skill. He that has clean hands. The book of scripture says from the prophet David, he that has clean hands. And a pure heart. And a pure heart. The pure heart is his link to God. That's right. They give him a divine know-how, how how to handle life, taking it with care from the earth. Go ahead. From the grips of the earth, from the grips of darkness. So the doctor... Again, even in the C-section, what are you looking for? Head first. That's right. That's right. Huh? That's right. Head first. Amen. Carefully. Mm. Grabbing the head. Go ahead. Skillfully. That's right. Working the body. That's right. Huh? Go ahead. Like Lazarus. Amen. Amen. You understand. See when a child, glory to God, come from the body of the woman, my Lord, my Lord. it's being resurrected from the dead. That's right. That's right. Did you hear what I'm saying? That's right. When a child is coming from the woman, Amen. it's coming out of the grave. Yeah, that's right. It's coming out of the belly of the earth. That's right. It's coming out of a tomb. That's right. Go ahead. And then when the earthquake, you know, if you want a building to come down, let the earthquake. That's right. So when the mother body began to quake, my Lord, my Lord. When the earth, her temple, began to quake, go ahead. Life. It's time for resurrection. That's right. Like as a woman with child. Listen. In Isaiah chapter 26 and verse 17. Yes. Like as a woman with child. Like as a woman with child. That draweth near the time that of her draw delivery. near the time of her delivery. Is in pain. Is in pain. And crieth out in her and pain. And cry out well. In her pain. In her pain. So we have been in thy sight, O Lord. Amen. So we Hallelujah. have been in thine sight. That's right. 
Oh Lord, you cried out in pain because you need deliverance from the placenta that you was partying in, That's dancing right. in, right. smoking in, That's right. cutting the devil in, in the world of darkness. Go ahead. Go ahead. That's why I need to be born again. 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 That's right. Are you listening? Go ahead. We have been with child. Listen at this. Still in Isaiah chapter 26 <laughs> at verse 18. We have been with child. We have been in pain. We have been in pain. We have, as it were, brought forth we wind. We has, as it were, brought forth wind. Brought forth wind. We have not wrought any deliverance in the earth. Amen. No deliverance. That's right. You can see that woman. Mm -hmm. She must breathe a certain way. That's right. So she don't hyperventilate. That's right. If she's breathing too fast, the doctors will tell her, just slow it down. Amen. Pace yourself. That's right. You're going too fast. That's right. For us to function right and work together, you got to function at the pace that you are instructed to function. That's right. Before you can walk with God, you first must be taught how to function. function. Amen. And to walk at the pace that you are taught to walk. In other words, have to follow instructions. That's right. That's right. See, many, their head is in darkness and they're hanging up the womb feet first. Amen. And they're jumping around with the womb over their head, shouting in church. That's true. But you're still in darkness. That's right. Because you can't see. The whole head is sick. You have no sense of direction. And when the mind is engulfed in darkness, the mind becomes ill. That's right. The book of scripture says. In Isaiah chapter 1 and at verse 5. How much of it? The whole head. The whole head. Is sick. Is sick. And the whole heart. The whole heart. Faint. When the feet come out, the heart and head is still in the womb. That's right. That's right. Chest and head still in darkness. From the sole of the foot, Amen. even unto the head. Glory to God. There is no soundness in it. That's why the whole body. That's, that's right. why when the body come out, you find them, wash it off. Amen. But then the doctors got to clear the breathing passage. That's right. That's right. Get that suction. Utilizing air right. Amen. to clear a pathway That's right. for breathing. That's right. It takes the spirit of God, divine wind, the Holy Ghost, God. God. By the spirit to clear the mucus mm -hmm. that have accumulated in our lives that's clogging our spiritual development. Go ahead. Go ahead. Mucus forms scales. That's right. Upon the eyes, it caused the ears to become dull of hearing. No, that's right. That's right. Are you listening? Amen. So it takes wind. Go ahead. Spirit. Go ahead. God. Jehovah. That's right. That's right. Through the usage of wind from the mouth of a fleshy organ that is designed to produce children. Amen. Go ahead. Wind blow from heaven in a shaft. That's right. My Lord. My Lord. Listen. Go ahead. From heaven in a shaft. That's right. That consists of flesh and blood. Mm -hmm. And then the vent connected to the shaft, the mouth come open. And when he had said this, you see when Jesus breathed, he on, breathed them on them and them. said, Receive ye the Holy, the Holy, Ghost. Holy Ghost. That's right. Receive ye the Holy Ghost. Holy he breathed on. Breathed on. Him. That's right. Amen. When that child come out the womb, mm -hmm. is cleaned off. Mm -hmm. Then it's wrapped. That's right. The head child is weighed. That's right. Why is it way to find out how much weight it accumulated while it was in darkness? That's right. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Glory to God. Go ahead. See, when you are in darkness, brothers and sisters, mm -hmm. in the delivery room, glory to God, Amen. when the woman 
is about to bring forth. Yes. Mm -hmm. There's a table full of instruments. Yes, That's right. To take care of the job. Yes, That's right. And in the delivery room, there's people aiding yes, one another. Amen. To save one life. That's right. Many officers. That's right. Some is there who don't know a thing about cutting the umbilical cord. Right. Mm -hmm. Then after the child is born, sometimes the woman womb has to be stitched. That's right. Amen. That's right. Someone weighs the child. Mm -hmm. And they determine whether the child is underweighted or overweight or just right. They evaluate the head of the child, see if the form correctly. That's right. And then sometimes the child come out not breathing. That's right. Amen. Because of the amount of mucus it accumulated right. in darkness. That's right. So again, pressure. That's right. Got to be applied. That's right. That's right. Eh? Amen. Pressure. Got to be applied. Why? To loosen up the hindrance. That's right. That's right. Once the hindrance is loose, the spirit mm. can work in the body. Amen. Once the hindrance is loose within your life, then the spirit of the living God That's right. can have free course. Of course. Amen. That's right. Go ahead. Within the body. Go ahead. And just like when the breath begins to function in the body, sometimes through the aid of breath, it helps discharge the mucus. That's, right. mm -hmm. That's why you need the spirit. That's spirit. Right. That's right. Amen. That it may discharge the mucus so the sin build up. Give me the book of Hebrews, son. Huh? Mm -hmm. You see, in the living room, the woman is compassed about. That's right. With a great cloud of witness. In Hebrews chapter 12 and They'll bear one. witness to the birth of a child or children. That's right. Huh? That's right. And what she birthed is a weight. Amen. Because when the weight come out, her stomach go down. That's right. You understand? That's right. You see, when you're in darkness, you're like a pregnant woman. Amen. When a woman is pregnant, her appetite increases. Mm -hmm. When a person is in darkness, their appetite increases for sin. That's right. That's right. Are you listening? Amen. When a woman is pregnant, sometimes she eats the wrong thing. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes she catch herself and eat the right thing. That's right. When a man or woman is in darkness, in the belly of the earth, mm -hmm. floating around in darkness, Amen. they eat the wrong thing. That's right. So by the time they come into the light, mm. they're full of weight. That's right. Full of sin. Amen. And the Apostle Paul teaches us sin. Wherefore, seeing we all we are, are compassed about, about with so great a cloud of witnesses, so great a cloud of witness. let us lay aside every weight. You see, let's lay aside every weight and the sin. Well, see, that's the afterbirth. That's right. That's and if right. you take note, when the afterbirth come out the womb, they lay it aside. Lay it aside. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? That's right. When the afterbirth come out the womb, they lay it aside. Amen. Now, and then you got some sick parents. Who eat the afterbirth? My Lord. Um, so some will say, well, how are you going to connect that with the Bible? It ain't hard. No. When you have knowledge. That's right. Eating the afterbirth mm -hmm. is eating what was in darkness. That's right. Turn. And when oh, you turn. eat the afterbirth, you are returning. Turn. That's right. That's right. Back to your dark place. But it has happened unto back them. Back into bondage. That's right. And Peter said it has happened unto them according to the true proverb. The dog is turned. The dog is turned. You parents that eat the after birth of your child, you are equivalent to a dog. That's right. Because what you're eating is waste. Amen. Filth. Mm -hmm. You're eating that which have no life. That's right. You're eating the former dwellings. That's the right. The former house. That's right. 
When you go back in the world, you're going back to your former house. That's right. God brings you from the former house to set you in the latter house. house. That's right. Are you listening? The dog is the turned. The prophet Haggai said, the latter house shall be greater than the former. That's right. But when you go back to the world, mm -hmm. going back to your afterbirth, mm -hmm. many of us go back to reattach our umbilical cord. Amen. We go back to reattach our association with darkness. That's right. Amen. To be in darkness, really, you know, you got to be tied to tied it. Tied to it. Amen. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. Yes, sir. That's why when a child come out the womb, they can't cut that umbilical cord while it's in there. No. They got to come to the light. That's right. That is, these might be made manifest. Mm -hmm. That is roaring God. God. That's right. So then it come to the light. <laughs> and when it come to the light, then... They cut the umbilical cord, but then the navel mm -hmm. have a clamp. Mm. Clamps it. Amen. Amen. The mother treated with alcohol. That's right. That's right. To keep it clean. That's right. Amen. So no infection don't set in. Mm -hmm. When you come out the world, the scriptures has a clamp. That's right. Reason why a clamp is necessary, if not. That dark path that you came out of, if there's no clamp, it'll come back open. Back. Amen. That's, huh? That's right. That's why it is important that the mother, after the umbilical cord is severed, apply alcohol so what little part mm. of the umbilical cord is still in the navel proof. That's right. My connection was with darkness. That's, right. That's true. So can't snatch it off by force mm -hmm. because the, it, it, it is not ready to totally come off the child. That's right. So I must treat it mm -hmm. carefully. Mm -hmm. I hope you can get this. Amen. Many of you, you declare that you have severed your ties with darkness, with the world, with right. ignorance. That's right. But there's still a little bulge in peace. Mm. Of dark material. That's right. Attached to the flesh. That's Amen. Right. And just as the mother used alcohol, the preacher must use scripture. That's Scriptures. Right. That's right. You just can't snatch some people out of it. No, no. You got to clean it. Clean it. That's right. So no infection don't set in. That's right. That's right. Do you understand? That's right. And when no affection set in, then mm -hmm. eventually the little part of the umbilical cord dries up. Dries up. Amen. And before you know it, the child overcome it. It falls off. That's right. That's right. Do you, do you, are you listening? That's right. So whenever you come from the world. Amen. And if there's any pieces of the past. Right. Amen. Attached to your life. Your life. That's right. You must. Have that thing, all mm -hmm. things, mm -hmm. treated. Amen. With scripture. That's right. Until it dry up. That's right. When it dry up, that's a sign it has no more life. It's dead. dead. Amen. Amen. But it must be treated. Go ahead. Sometimes folks say it should fall off in two weeks. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it stay right there. That's right. They got to keep treating. Keep treating. That's right. Keep tre make sure you treat it right. Sometimes a woman take a hammer, move the navel to one side. Mm -hmm. Treating it. Amen. Why? She wanted to get all of it. All of it. That's right. You understand? It shall be health. The scripture says. In Proverbs chapter 3 and at verse 8. It shall be health. It shall. It shall be health. Go through the verse above that. At verse 6. Listen. In all thy ways acknowledge In him. all thine ways recognize God. And he shall direct thy path. Then he will guide you on your path. Be not wise in thine Don't own eyes. Don't be arrogant. Don't be self-willed. That's right. Don't be wise with your own eyes. Fear the Lord. Fear, respect, yes. reverence, submit, obey God. And depart from evil. And depart from darkness. It shall be health. And when you come from darkness, Go ahead. it'll be health to thy navel. To your navel. And marrow. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You understand? Amen. Mm. Hallelujah. And it be health. It shall be health to thy navel. That's why it is important Hallelujah. that the mother Amen. treat that navel Hallelujah. with care. 
Why? She's treating a spot that used to be connected to her. That's right. Hallelujah. Your neighbor Hallelujah. 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 is the part of the Hallelujah. body that Amen. have you tied. That's right. In darkness. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. You understand? That's right. Even when the body of the child come out the womb. Go ahead. The umbilical cords come out with it. That's right. That's right. The body Go ahead. is in light. Right. Amen. But the connection, the connection is still in the dark. That's right. That's right. Your body come to the church. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. But Go ahead. there's an umbilical cord. Amen. Connected to your mind. Connected to your heart. heart. Connected to your earthly tabernacle. That's right. Physically. That's right. You in the building called church. Physically, right. you're here. Right. But there's an umbilical cord in their hearts that have, listen, Go ahead. the umbilical cord is seen outwardly, mm -hmm. but what goes in it travel within. That's right. Mm? That's true. It's seen, it works externally mm -hmm. and internally. That's right. So your ties of darkness, even though your body is around the truth, Go ahead. the light of God. Amen. But the umbilical cord. That cable that got you tied Go ahead. to the world of the placenta, Amen. to the world of waste, That's right. to the world of the past, That's right. to the world where you're no longer is fit to be in. That's right. When a child begins to grow, is not the, 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 the sack of water is too small. Amen. I want some freedom. I got to come out. Come out. And when they come out, they come out hollering. Go ahead. That's right. It's it's free now. Free. Mm -hmm. Now is no longer fed Go ahead. through the navel. Go ahead. Because that's the former place. That's right. Huh? That's right. Now it's fed upward. That's right. Newborn babes. In the present place. Mm -hmm. Brothers and sisters, in order to be born again. again. That's right. Right? Listen, you can get your umbilical cord cut. Mm -hmm. By bowing your head and raising your hands. Amen. No, no. You can't come from the world of darkness by just confessing with your mouth the Lord no. rose and you are saved. That's right. No, you shall be, but you're not. That's right. That's right. You just can't go to a closet and make confession to a priest. Oh, no. He must have divine skill to break your ties. That's it. That's it. With Satan. That's right. It is more than touching a television or a radio and thank God it's coming through your heart. No, oh, your no. cable must be cut. That's it. That's right. That's right. It must be severed. Amen. So, this is why we over there. Bringing a pushing message. Go ahead. To you that's being carried in the belly of Satan. That's right. As a pregnant woman, if you take note, hell is called her. That's right. That's right. Are you listening? Mm -hmm. Hell don't bear the title he. No. Or him. No, no. Hell bear the title her. That's right. Therefore, hell. Listen. In Isaiah chapter 5 and verse 14. Listen. Therefore, hell. Therefore, hell. Hath enlarged. Hath enlarged. Herself. Her. Herself. And open her mouth. Hath enlarged herself. Herself. That's right. And her mouth came open. And open her mouth without measure. Now, here you have an eternal hell to have no measure. Mm -hmm. But now you have a hell that does have a measure. That's right. Which That's is the grave. The grave. That's right. Not the lowest hell, mm -hmm. but the first hell. That's right. Which is the grave. That's right. Even the mouth of the grave can be measured. Mm -hmm. But then when the mouth is closed, the dirt is shoveled back in. That's right. Whenever it comes time to be reborn, mm -hmm. born again, again, new birth, That's right. 
It is not the going back into the darkness. It is not going back into the womb. Mm -mm. Some of you dumb preachers say, when the Bible said be born of water, that's talking about is when your mother's water break. No. No, no, no. Nicodemus already rectified that because he thought Jesus was teaching to go back in his mother's body. That's right. Second time. So it didn't talk about. No. The breaking of the water of the first birth. That which is born of the flesh. Listen. In St. John 3 and that verse. Your six, first birth is your birth of the flesh. That which is born of the flesh is flesh. That your flesh. But your second birth that you got to have. That which is born of the spirit. Is what? Is spirit. Model not. That I said unto thee. What must happen? He must be born again. Glory to God. That's right. Fill us. That's right. You must. Be born mm -hmm. all over again. Amen. That's right. Now, mm -hmm. when a child is born, it's weighed. The doctors want to see how big it is. It was, in, it was in the body of the woman. That's right. When you hear the knowledge of the truth, you have some weight on you. Amen. I'm not talking about natural weight. No, no. Anyone that come to hear the message of truth have a bunch of filth on them. Filth. That's right. Don't they? That's right. Sin bring on weight. Let us lay aside every weight. Do you hear the book of scripture? Back in Hebrews 12 and verse 1. Seeing y'all can pass the Bible so great a cloud of witness, let us lay aside every weight. And the sin. And the sin. Which do it so easily beset us. You see, the sin pile up on you. Uh -huh. It's it, it caused weight. Wait, that's right. The accumulation of weight. Mm -hmm. And the weight bring about the actions of sin. That's right. And just like the child body is weighed on a scale, mm -hmm. your actions are weighed. That's right. That's are you right. listening? That's right. I say your actions That's right. are weighed. The weighing of the child don't take place until it comes from darkness. Amen. Your actions are weighed when you're coming to the knowledge of the truth. First Samuel chapter two and at verse three. Listen. Talk no more so Don't exceeding talk proud. No more so exceeding proud. Let not arrogance Don't come let out of your pride mouth. Pride come out of your mouth. For the Lord is a the God Lord of knowledge. The Lord is a God of knowledge. And by Him, by Him, actions are weighed. That's right. Amen. By Him, by Him, actions, actions are weighed. Are weighed. Weighed. So you put the child on a scale when they come to the light. That's right. And now your actions mm -hmm. is put on the scale of scripture. That's right. Once you come into the knowledge of truth. Amen. So once you hear the message that's mm -hmm. calling for rebirth. Right. Be born again. Again. Right. Gotta go back in water. That's right. Now you got to find out how. How. What is the solution? That's right. Why and what's wrong with me that I got to be born all over again? Born again. That's right. The reason why you got to be born all over again because you came out of darkness weighing too much. Amen. You Amen. came out of the womb of darkness unhealthy. That's right. Overweighted. Overweight. Mm -hmm. Huh? That's right. Too much sin. Sin is on you. Build up around you. That's right. You got a heart murmur. Amen. A irregular beat. That's right. In other words, your body is not in the proper condition that God wanted to be because you're utilizing the members of the body for the sole purpose to violate the laws of God. For their heart was not right with him. Listen. In Psalm 78 and at verse 37. Their heart. For their heart was not right with was him. Was not right. With him. With him. Neither were they steadfast. Neither was they steadfast. In his covenant. In his covenant. Covenant. Mm -hmm. So a call got to be made like when a woman, you know, I remember my, I believe it was my first born or second. But I was driving, uh, maybe my second or my third, one of them. But I remember I was driving to the church on my way to my office. Mm hmm and my wife called me in the car. Mm -hmm. I just turned on York Street, came off 95. Amen. And she called, she said, come on back, it's time. Amen. Don't leave me to answer, are you sure? 
A woman carried the goods, she know. That's right. So I had to turn around. That's right. Because there was a child in darkness. Mm -hmm. And sometimes when a child don't come out at the time that may be appointed, longer it stay in darkness, many times the birth become in jeopardy. That's right. And the woman's health is in jeopardy. jeopardy. Because even God have a designated time mm -hmm. for life to stay in darkness. That's, right. That's true. That's right. That's right. That's right. And when the mother speak, it's time. That's right. I have heard this. A call That's right. is made That's right. from the bride. Mm. Go ahead. Give me the book of Revelation. Go ahead. Glory to God. Amen. Do you understand? Amen. When a mother make a call, it's Go time. Go ahead. Look how God called Revelation. us. Revelation chapter 22 and at verse 17. Listen. And the spirit. The spirit. And the bride. And the bride. Say come. Say come. That's right. And let him that hear it. The spirit. And the bride. And the bride. Say come. The one must utilize her spirit, her breath. Mm. To ahead. declare. Go ahead. It's time for the child to come. That's right. That's right. So that's what God doing now. That's right. The spirit and within the bride. the bride. Go ahead. The spirit Go ahead. within the church. That's right. Because the church is pregnant with life. Go ahead. And it's crying out Come. to those that are Come. in darkness. That's right. Come. Come. That's right. Till John said, Come out of her. Come out of her. My people. Oh, my people. That's right. He didn't say come out of him. No, he said no. come out of her. That's right. Nine people. That's right. Go ahead. Are you listening? Go ahead. You have a virtuous woman. Go ahead. Pregnant with divine seed. Amen. And you have a hoe mm. pregnant with bastards. That's right. That's right. That's right. It is the woman that's carrying bastards. Amen. Who took it upon herself to become pregnant. That's right. Who took it upon herself to declare himself a preacher. Preacher, amen. And took it upon himself to discharge seed from the pulpit. To impregnate people. To make them slaves by Satan. That's right. It is that people. Go ahead. That God said come out come, of her. Come out of her my people. Listen at the book of Revelation. Revelation chapter 18. Listen. And verse 2. What did he say? And he cried mightily with a strong voice. Cried mightily with a strong voice. Saying Babylon the great Babylon is Babylon the great is falling. Is falling. Is falling. And has become the habitation become of dragons. Become the habitation of dragons. And the hold of every foul the spirit. The hold of every foul spirit. And a cage. A cage. Of every unclean and hateful bird. This is what you are in when you're in darkness. That's right. You out there like a bird in a cage. That's right. Trapped. Trapped. In bondage. That's right. No freedom. Amen. Even if they got a religion, but the religion is not scriptural, you in bondage. That's right. No freedom. No freedom. Listen. Babylon the Great is falling. It's falling, it's falling. And it's become the habitation it of It has become a dwelling place for dragons. And the hold of every foul the spirit. The hold of every foul spirit. And a cage of a every, cage unclean, of and every unclean and hateful bird. For all nations have drunk all of the wine. All nations have drunk of the wine. Of the wrath of, of her fornication. Of the wrath of her, her fornication. fornication. Drunk the wine of her, her. fornication. Fornication here is preached from the perspective of wine. That's right. That's right. Because a person becomes overtaken Amen. by the feeling thereof. That's right. And when they become overtaken by the feeling, by the power of it, they want more of it and become drunk. Drunk. That's right. Drunk. That's right. Are you listening? For all nations have drunk of the wine all of the wrath of a fornication. Have drunk of the wine and the wrath of a fornication. And the kings of the earth have committed the fornication with her. The kings of the earth have committed fornication with her with her that's right and what and the merchants of the earth are wax rich through the abundance of her delicacy and and i heard another voice from heaven saying what saying come out of her my people that's right. amen come that's out. what god is telling you viewers that's right and you that are here come out of her my people come out of her that's it my people my people it's time that's right to be born again that's right 
supernatural. Right? Come out, Come out of her. her. Come out of the darkness. Amen. Disconnect yourself from that wicked umbilical cord where liquor and drugs and smoking and drinking is contaminating your body. Amen. Come out of her. Right. You got to sever your ties. That's it. That's right. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. The doctor stands in the room while you while it's time for delivery. And ye shall be holy. And he declares, mm. come unto me. That's right. Jesus said, come unto come me. me. All ye that labor. All ye that labor. And when a labor. woman is pregnant, she's in what? Labor. Labor. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy, heavy laden. laden. When a woman is pregnant, she's heavy laden. That's right. But if the child is born, she have what? Rest. 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 Go ahead. Jesus said, come unto me. All ye that labor. <laughs> all ye. That labor. That labor. And what I'm, are you laboring in? Sin. That's right. That's right. And the sin have you laden, cause you're burning down. That's right. Heavy and if lady. you want rest, he said, come unto come him. Come unto me. That's right. Come out of her. That's right. Come out. You got to fight while you're in the darkness. Go ahead. That you may come out the womb. That's right. Head first. That's right. That's and when you come out head first, your ears. Go ahead. Try hear a words. voice behind you. That's right. Saying, this is the this way. This is the way. Walk ye in. How do you go to take off? Go ahead. This is the way. That's right. Walk ye in it. Walk ye in it. You understand? That's right. Even while the mother right. is pushing. Go ahead. Applying pressure right. within. Amen. See, the pressure now is pushing the child. That's right. It's in back of the child. That's, That's right. right. There's a voice behind you. behind you. That's right. Which is a divine pressure. Go ahead. Saying, this is the way. That's right. So why God getting behind you, the preacher in front of you, guiding you to God. Go ahead. While the mother apply pressure. Go ahead. By pushing. Amen. Pushing him back up. That's right. The doctor. That's right. Is guiding you. Guiding you. That's right. Are you coming on out? Amen. You understand? Go ahead. Go ahead. Come out of her. Come out of her, my people. That's what God wants. That's right. That's right. Come out of her. her. My people. That you be not partake. That you be not involved. Of her sins. That's right. That's right. When you are out there in the world, you are in the pregnant element. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. You afterbirth eaters. Mm. My Lord. You're scared to sever your ties. That's right. With your false churches. That's right. So to keep that umbilical cord dangle on you, you think it's cut. Mm -hmm. The preacher rigged up an artificial new birth. That's right. Amen. Bow your head and raise your hands, but when you look down, your umbilical cord That's is still right. there. That's right. Join the church. Your umbilical cord's still there. That's right. Get on a mourner's bench. You get several different works of grace. Umbilical cord still there. You still got the blood and the mm -hmm. sin all over you from darkness. That's right. You still got the afterbirth all over you. All over you. And the only remedy that God designed Amen. is going back to the water, but not to the woman. That's right. That's right. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. The book of scripture teaches us mm -hmm. in the sixth chapter of the book of Romans. Amen. The apostle Paul says, what shall we say then? Shall, shall we, we continue in sin. in sin? Shall you continue in the darkness? That grace may abound. That grace may abound. God forbid. God forbid such place. How shall we that are dead to sin? How shall we that are dead to sin live? Any longer therein. Amen. Know ye not? That so many of us as were baptized into Jesus Christ what happened? were baptized into his death. Therefore, we are buried with him oh, by baptism. Do you see this? Amen. Buried. You came out of water. That's right. Just to get ready to go back in. That's right. And you must be buried. Buried with him. Jesus said you must be buried with him by, by baptism. Baptism into death. Into death. That's right. In the body of the war and the body of the woman, the water symbols life. Mm -hmm. 
But now when it comes to being baptized, baptized. the water symbols death. That's right. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. In order for the child to fully function in the woman, I have to come out the water. That's right. In order for you to function in God, you have to go in. In water. The water. That's right. Are you listening? Amen. So one must consent to death. That's right. Through the act of repentance. Mm -hmm. Are you listening to me? Amen. Viewers, viewers, viewers. Amen. You walk around and claim you're born again. You accept Christ as your personal savior. Did you repent? That's right. That's it. Are you Except sorry for what you've done? Mm -hmm. Jesus preached a divine law here. That's right. And Jesus declared himself. But except ye repent. Listen. In Luke chapter 13 and verse 3. Except ye repent. Ye repent. Ye shall all likewise. Ye shall all likewise. Perish. 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 Now. The introduction to new birth is hear the message. Mm -hmm. Then once I act out, the first thing I must do after I hear, mm -hmm. I must start doing some repentance now. Repentance. Yes, That's right. Yes, Am I right, I said? That's right. Yes, you must feel some remorse. That's right. About your sins. Mm -hmm. you, when you have remorse, you are hurt. Amen. By not just what you've done, but what you've done to others. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. I'm sorry about the wrong that I've done because I've sinned against God. That's right. That's right. Even though I was ignorant in the midst of my sins, mm -hmm. but now through divine mercy. That's right. He brings me to the knowledge of himself, which brings me to the knowledge of why I am created. Amen. Then my heart becomes convicted. Mm -hmm. Amen. You folks say you're born again? You're born again. Hello. Born again means you're a new creature. That's right. That's right. New creature. New creature. Are you listening? In 2 Corinthians 5 and verse 17. Listen. Therefore, if any man be in Christ. If any man be in Christ. He is a new creature. What happens? Old things are passed away. See, when you come out the womb, that placenta come out the after birth, mm -hmm. proof of your past dwelling place. That's right. That stuff is thrown away. That's right. When you come out the world mm -hmm. and then you run up on your former associates. That's still wobbling in the placenta, still wobbling in the darkness, haven't yet came out of her. That's right. That's right. You understand? Amen. The book of scripture says what? Old things are passed away. Well. Amen. Just like when you cut the umbilical cord, some of it is still on the navel. That's right. Eventually it got to fall off. That's right. When you come out the world. Many of the elements of darkness are still attached to you. That's right. So the scriptures got to treat it. That's right. Like the woman used alcohol to treat the neighbor. Mm -hmm. Over and over. Paul said it this way. Moreover, brother. Moreover, brethren. That's right. So moreover, brethren, the word of God must be declared. That's right. Got to take scriptures and apply it to the mouth. Mm -hmm. So the taste of cigarettes can come out of it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Gotta take scripture and apply it to the ears. That's right. So the hearing of the world and the desire to hear the world can come out of it. That's right. In other words, all the members of the body must totally break forth out of darkness in order to be free. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. The scripture says what? Come, come out of all things. All things are passed away. Passed. Passed. That's right. I want to say, well, Pastor Jennings, what does it mean in my life if all, all the old things ain't past? It means it's still there. That's right. That's right. If it haven't passed, it's still there. Amen. Are you listening? Amen. And a person must have a desire to get totally detached mm -hmm. from the world. That's right. 
That's why the, the beginning of wanting to be detached starts with repentance. Repentance. That's right. In other words, you are sorry you ever was connected. That's right. Amen. You regret that you ever was connected. That's right. You can't say you're sorry about a thing when you know you're not. That's right. Amen. 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 Because when I'm truly sorry about it, then my desire, I look upon it as what it is, wickedness. Wicked, that's right. And I have remorse. I can't be sorry with no remorse. No. That's why you folk watching me now, many of you, you ain't never been born again. What you call saved. Amen. You know what you call saved? A born again Christian. You may be a born again cricket. <laughs> That's right. Hopping from one false church to the other, making noise. Amen. That's right. But at the same time, you have no desire to come out of her. Come out of her. So you profess Jesus with a cigarette. You profess Jesus with a second wife. That's right. They you profess, profess Jesus mm -hmm. with a third husband. They profess that they you know God. You profess Jesus drinking beer. That's right. You profess Jesus, woman, wearing pants mm -hmm. and wearing shorts Amen. with your bottom hanging out. That's right. Men, you profess Jesus being gay. Amen. Because some statements don't want me to say faggot. Uh, that's, right. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, some statements say they don't want me to say faggot. <laughs> they don't want me to say it. Amen. Because the gay world get offended. Mm -hmm. You know, the gay Christians. That's right. That's right. If you've been born again. again. Then there must be evidence of the birth. That's right. Evidence that a woman is no longer pregnant, the child have arrived. That's right. mm -hmm. Amen. And there's a decrease in right. the stomach. That's right. Evidence that you are born again. Not only have you arrived to the light, but you're striving to walk in the light, and there's a decrease in the weight of sin. That's right. That formerly used to accumulate so much. That's right. So now your effort is not to accumulate weight, but it is to subtract, subtract. weight. That's right. So your diet now changed. Mm -hmm. You eat different in the light. Amen. Child in darkness ate what came through the uh, umbilical cord, connected to the navel. That's right. But now you must eat in the heart. heart. That's right. And in the mind. Mm -hmm. That the nutrients of God may travel all through the body. That's right. To attack the germs. Mm. You see, scripture is as vitamins. Whenever a person is weak in God, the divine immune system is at an all-time low. That's right. Amen. That's right. So now you got to get the herbs, mm -hmm. the true vines. Amen. You got to get the true vines. That's right. And the tree of life. Amen. And once I began to digest the scriptures, mm -hmm. it attacked the germs, That's right. which is the sin that abideth in the temple. Amen. It attacked those germs, mm -hmm. each one of them. That's right. Because in each member of the body, there's trouble out of that member. That's right. The ears, the mouth, the eyes, the hands, the feet. There's trouble in the body. That's right. And long as there's trouble in the body, there's another law that's in your members. In my members. Now, the purpose and the reason why, viewers, that you got to be born all over again 
Because when you was born in the world, you had one sin upon you. That's right. Now, I know many of the preachers have taught you that you're born a sinner. They don't know what they're talking about. No. A sinner is one that commit acts of sin. That's right. Child is in the womb, but it's not doing nothing. That's right. The sin that it obtained was passed down, an inherited sin. That's right. The sin that was passed down from the first man, Adam. Amen. So he or she inherited that. Right. Then when a child begins to grow and learn right from wrong and choose to do wrong rather than right, mm -hmm. it earns the title through work. Sinner. 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 That's right. You sinners that are watching me, you earned that title. Mm -hmm. You didn't get it doing nothing. No. Is that right? That's right. I say you earned the title. Sinner. That's right. Someone say, you talking to me? Yes, I'm talking to you. Amen. Sinner. Mm -hmm. You're a hardworking man and woman. That's right. You work hard to get that title. That's right. You went from born in sin and worked so hard you got a promotion. Ye were the servants of Listen. sin. Listen. In Romans chapter 6 and verse 17. The scripture says. That ye were the servants of sin. Ye were the servants. Of sin. The servants. Mm -hmm. The laborers. That's right. Of sin. Of sin. Who did you labor for? The devil. The devil, that's right. What role did the Satan play in your life? As your father. That's right. The scripture said, ye are of your the father, devil. the devil. That's right. Ye are of your father, your father the, the devil. devil. Who father? Your father. Right. Who father? Your father. Your father? Your father. Your father. Your father. Your father. Your father. That's right. Fearless. Glory to God. I told you Satan was your close relative. Amen. I've been telling you that for years. Amen. You didn't believe me. Mm -hmm. He's a very close relative of yours. That's right. Father. Not your brother. No. He's not your uncle. No, no. He's father. not your grandpappy. Amen. He's your father. Father. Hmm? That's right. That's why you obey him. That's right. And the lust of your father. The lust of desire. The lust of your father. That means what your father want from you. Ye will do. You give him. That's right. What your father wants you to produce. That's right. You do it. You do it. The lust of your father, the will of your father, the desire that he has. He will. He do. encourage you. Go smoke. Mm -hmm. You don't need to be born again. You are right the way you are. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with smoking, Mister Christian. That's right. You believe your father. Mm -hmm. Your father say, go play the lottery. That's then right. you'll be able to give more money to the Lord. Amen. You believe it. Believe it. Your father say, wear a mini skirt. That's right. Or your father say, wear a long skirt, and, but put a split in it. That's right. From your ankle all the way up to your hip. Mm -hmm. So when men see, they can see your thighs and your hips. That's right. And your legs. Right. Then they can whistle at you. That's right. Then you know you look good. Amen. You will do. You will do what your father say do. That's right. Your father say, why don't you put a blouse on, but don't wear no bra on under it. Mm -hmm. Wear it when it's chilly. That's right. Am I all right? That's right. You That's understand? Right. That's right. Or if you put an undergarment on under it, put it so that your blouse is cut so deep. And what's in it is lift up so high Amen. that it's almost lift clean out your clothing. That's right. Your father say, get it. You will do. The daughter say, I do it. That's right. That's the right. lust of your father. You yes, will do. You will do. Will do. Well, you got to love your father in order to obey him. That's right. Someone say, I don't love him, then why you obey him? That's right. There's some love somewhere. Love involved. Where well, there's obedience, there's some form of loyalty. That's right. That's right. No man can serve two masters. Right. right. You either loyal to God or you're loyal to the devil. Mm -hmm. So I said, Pastor Jennings, I'm loyal to God, but I find myself obeying the devil. Well, then you got to get off the workforce. That's right. That's right. If you're going to give him your resignation, right. sign it. Yeah, that's right. Go ahead. That's right. Anyone can just say, you know, Satan. I hate you. Do you really hate him? Mm -hmm. Now, there are folk that hate him, Satan, mm -hmm. but they don't hate all his works. That's right. I'm pretty sure mostly everybody in here, in here, if not everybody, hate the devil. That's right. Mm -hmm. 
but you got to admit some of his works you're pretty cool with. That's right. That's right. Is that right? Amen. That's why a person must love God to the degree that he override all the love That's right. or any of the love that you have for the past life. That's right. Amen. You have to have God in you and the commitment and the love of God to override That's right. the love that you have for him. That's right. Are you listening? Amen. So why is it that you must be born again, viewers and listeners? Mm -hmm. Because you're messed up. That's right. Look at you. You're gambling, smoking, drinking, and you're doing all this in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. While some of you are looking at me now this morning, you're walking around getting your clothes ready for church, and you're smoking. That's right. You got beer in your refrigerator. Mm -hmm. Now, some of you is looking at me now, and the woman, you and your woman looking at me. <laughs> and she got a husband. Amen. And you got a wife. That's right. Now, some of you fellas are looking at me, and both of you men are in bed. Amen. Am I right? Amen. <laughs> See, you need to be born all over again. Born again. That's right. Because the first birth is a birth that brought you into a contaminated life. That's right. Now, just as you was in the body of the woman, where there was blood, water, and spirit, Jesus had to come mm -hmm. and bring the same elements yes. that one may be born all over again. That's right. The apostle John says, "This is He that came that by came water. by water and blood, not by water only, but by water and blood." And blood. And the spirit beareth witness because the spirit is true. That's right. But there are three that bear witness on earth. The spirit, water, the water, blood. and the blood. And these three agree in one. Agree in one. In one. That's right. Well, where were those three elements? Spirit, water, and blood. Mm. All in Jesus. All in Jesus. That's right. He went to the house of David went to the body of the woman it is written mm -hmm. that as the children are partakers of flesh and blood he also likewise himself took oh, part of the same. same that's right so he come in the womb manifesting himself in the flesh, flesh. and the flesh was the creation of God that's right. mm -hmm. the flesh was the creation of God that's right God was not created no no God is the source of creation. That's right. So here come that natural body with spirit, water, and blood. Taking that spirit, water, and blood, here is the body hanging on the cross. That's right. The cross pointing four directions because it would take spirit water and blood to pull the human family from the four corners of the earth to create one new man. That's right. One new people. Mm -hmm. So now, when you are baptized, if you take note, viewers, in the book of scriptures, preachers been saying for years, Jesus shed blood. Jesus shed blood. They didn't give you the whole picture. Oh, that's right. Let's go back to the cross. Mm-hmm. And see what came out of Jesus. St. John chapter 19 and at verse 34. Listen. But one of the soldiers with a spear pierced his side. One of the side. soldiers with the spear pierced, pierced his side. His side. And forthwith came there out blood. Forthwith came there out blood. Blood. And water. And water. And water. Blood and water. And water. I want this to be good for you religions. They say baptism isn't necessary. It's an outward sign and inward grace. Use right. an outward lie that's told right. from an inward devil that's in you. That's right. Your father made you believe that. Amen. Huh? Amen. Listen. And forthwith came there out blood and water. So if blood and water come out of him, come out of him. the question is why? That's right. Well, I was saved through the shedding of blood. 
He shed blood and water. Blood and water. That's right. But the blood had cleansed my sins. When did you get it? That's right. How did you get it? That's right. What is your method of getting this blood that was shed? Mm -hmm. Where is it today? That's right. Go ahead, man. The blood has to be somewhere. Somewhere. That's right. For it to be used. In Revelation chapter 1. It's not in heaven. No. For flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God. He's no longer walking the earth as a man. Right. That's right. So where is it? Go ahead. Go ahead. How do you get it? That's right. Pierced him in his side. Out came two elements. Blood and water. Blood and water. And water. Blood and water. That's right. Like in the days of Moses, mm -hmm. they used blood and water. And water. That's right. And heist up. up. That's right. For when Moses had spoken. Listen, listen closely, viewers. In Hebrews chapter 9 and at verse 19. Follow me. For when Moses had spoken every precept to all the people. You see, Moses represent Christ. Mm -hmm. He said, the Lord your God shall raise up a prophet. Right. Among you, like me, him shall you hear in all things. Mm -hmm. Well, the one that was like Moses was Jesus the Christ or Jesus the anointed. That's right. Listen. For when Moses had spoken every precept to all the people according to the law. What happened? He took the blood of calves and of goats. He took the blood of calves and of goats. With water. Amen. He took the blood of calves, of calves and of goats. He took the blood of a sacrifice. That's right. That's what Jesus was. That's right. The scripture says, sacrifice are offering thou wouldest not, but a body has thou prepared me. That's right. So Moses took the blood of calves and of, of goats. Calves and of goats. With water. And he got water. That's right. Water and blood yeah. was used with the sacrifice. That's right. Listen. He took the blood of calves and goats with water. With water. And scarlet wool. Scarlet wool. Hold it. Amen. Scarlet, Scarlet. wool. Mm -hmm. When you slay the lamb, right. the wool is its fleece. That's right. When it becomes scarlet, it's stained with the blood thereof. That's right. Jesus. John said, one come after me that's mightier than I who gonna baptize you with the Holy Ghost and that with fire. Then John said, behold. That's right. Lamb the of God. sacrifice of God. of God. That's right. Behold, That's right. the Lamb of God. Of God. Of God. Look, the sacrifice of God. Look, That's the right. offering of God. That's right. When Moses got the lamb or the goat with blood and water, what else did he get? And hyssop. Hyssop. And hyssop. Mm hmm. Hyssop is a herb. That's right. That's a leaf. That's right. That can be grounded to a powder. Mm -hmm. Used to cleanse blood. Amen. A plant. That's right. There was a plant on the cross. That's right. And a plant was the true vine. The true vine. That's right. And within the plant. There was a purifying substance Amen. that will be shed from a sacrifice mm -hmm. that bear the title lamb and what will come from the lamb will be blood mm -hmm. and water as Moses used blood, water, and heights up in scarlet wool. That's right. His body became stained with blood as the lamb was stained by its own blood. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. Listen. With water and scarlet wool. With water and scarlet wool. And hyssop. Hyssop. And sprinkled both the book. Sprinkled both the book. And all the people. Hold it. Amen. The book. This is good. Oh, yes. The book was sprinkled first. First. That's right. In the days of Moses, the book was sprinkled, sprinkled first. Book. That's right. When Jesus was on the cross, the book was sprinkled 
first. first. That's right. Then the people were sprinkled. What was the book? It was the body, the flesh, the temple the itself. Book. In yeah. the book of Revelation, John said, I saw a mighty angel. That's right. Come down from heaven. Come down from heaven. Clothed with a cloud. Clothed with the cloud. And the rainbow was, and the upon, rainbow his was upon his head. And his face was and as it were the sun. As it were the sun shining in a strength. And his feet as pillars of feet fire. As pillars of fire. And he had in his hand a he little had in book. His hand open. A little book. Open. Open. That's right. It didn't just say he had a book open. No, no. But notice the title attached to it. A little book. Little book open. open. Mm -hmm. When the Apostle Paul talk about Jesus. That's right. They say he was made a little lower yes, than the angels. A little lower mm -hmm. than the angels. Why? The nature of the flesh is lower than the spirit. That's right. The book. Open. The book mm -hmm. is the cover. That's right. The contents of the book. Mm -hmm. Is the message that's right the cover was the son of man that's right. that's right the contents of the cover or of the book was the word God that's right that's right so when the book would come open, open. Mm -hmm. the cover or the mouth Lord. of the book would come open and the words go ahead would come out yes, of the cover. That's right. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. You can carry this book and then open the book mm -hmm. and read thereof. Read it. But if you don't understand the contents of the book, that's right. It is still dark to dark. you. Dark. Sealed. Sealed. If you read Jesus' teachings, mm -hmm about being born again viewer that's right and yet you have the scriptures open in your house at your job in your right. church in your right. mosque amen. amen but yet you rule out the need of being baptized in water right then the book is closed to you that's right that's right, that's right. are you listening that's right so how do you get this blood shed from this lamb when he was pierced in his side out came blood and water amen. and the purifying substance was released in the earth amen amen how we get it today yeah, that's right well when he shed blood my sins was washed away hmm. give me a revelation revelation chapter one and at verse five and then let's move to acts amen First in Revelation chapter 1 and verse 5. Follow me, viewers, and you that are here. And from Jesus Christ, who was the faithful witness. From Jesus Christ, from him, who was the faithful witness. And the first begotten of the day. First begotten of the day. And the prince of the kings of the earth. Prince of the kings of the earth. Unto him that loved unto us. Unto him that loved us. And washed us from our sins. Washed us from our sins. In his own blood. All right. He washed us. Mm -hmm. Now, some folks say, well, you see there? That goes to show you we don't need no baptism because they used the past tense. That's right. Washed us. Washed us. All right, mm -hmm. but are you washed? That's right. That's right. Are you washed in the blood? You know how you're saying, I am washed. Have you been washed or are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you? Are you? Mm -hmm. You washed in the blood of the Lamb? Mm -hmm. Who was the Lamb? Jesus. Jesus. Why did he bear the title Lamb? For the purpose of sacrifice? That's right. Why was he offered to connect man to God? Right. But how is man going to get that afterbirth washed off of him? Mm -hmm. He gonna have to go back and get some blood. Blood, right. that's right. Amen. Whose blood? The blood of the lamb. Of the lamb. Where is it? <laughs> On earth. Mm -hmm. How did he get there? Shit from his body. That's right. Where can I find it? In water. In Acts chapter 22 and at verse 16. Focus on the language of the scripture. Acts 22 and verse 16. What is it? And now why tarries thou? 
Arise and be baptized and wash away thy sin. And what did John say in the book of Revelation? Unto him that loved us and, and washed us from our sins in his own blood. And what did Paul or what did, uh, did Paul say? Arise and be baptized and wash away thy sins. Amen. Amen. Now, the scripture in the book of Acts talk about arise and be baptized. And wash, wash away thy sins, away thine sins, calling on calling, the name of the Lord. It says, "Wash, wash, be baptized, that's wash." Right. That's right. Now, many of you preachers preach. Well, the shedding of blood was for my remission. That's true. Mm -hmm. That's true. Blood is for the remission of sins. That's the true. word remission means removal. That's right. But how are you going to get this blood? How are you going to get it? That's right. Were you at the cross? <laughs> you weren't at no cross. That's right. That's right. So how did you get the blood? You wasn't at the cross. Amen. Someone said, well, he died for the sins of the world. But what the world must get to get associated with his death. That's it. That's right. You got to be crucified with him. With him. That's right. To have association with his death. That's right. Go ahead, go ahead. Listen. First in Acts chapter 2 and at verse 38. What is it? Then Peter said unto them, Repent. Listen closely. You blood lovers. Mm -hmm. Then Peter said to them, Repent. Repent. And be baptized. And be baptized. Every one of you in every the name one of, of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ for, for what reason? For the remission of sins. Why should we be baptized? For the remission of sins. Why should we be baptized? For the remission of sins. Why should we be baptized? For the remission of sins. For the remission. For the removing of sins. Of sins. Yes. That's right. And, without, and the Apostle Paul said in John, or rather Hebrews 9, 22. And without shedding of blood. Without the shedding of blood. Is no remission. Now, Peter refers to water. That's right. John refers to blood. That's right. They're not contradicting one another. No. Because this is he. He who? Jesus, Jesus. That came by water and blood. And blood. That's right. So they pierced him in the side, out came blood and water. The blood and water was symbolic. Amen. Listen, not just blood and water came out. Spirit came Spirit. out. That's right. Jesus told Nicodemus, you must be born of the water. And of spirit. And of the spirit. That's right. So you viewers, you're not baptized? You're not? Well, my religion don't require baptism. All right, your religion don't, and God does. That's right. Why, every priest, every bishop, every so-called apostle, every minister, every imam, mm -hmm. every monk, everybody, everybody must be baptized on scriptural order. Every one of you. Peter says what? Then Peter said unto them, repent We're and back be at baptized. Repentance. repentance. That's it. There got to be some sorry, some remorse moving in you. That's right. Humble. That's right. Not going before a priest. No. They come with a broken and contrite heart, not a contrary heart. That's right, contrite. That's right. A broken and contrite heart. Sacrifices of God. Listen at the book of Scripture. Psalms 51 and verse 17. What is it? The sacrifices the of sacrifice God. sacrifice of God. Are a broken heart. Are a broken, broken spirit. Spirit. A broken. You see, your spirit got to be broken. What is a person's spirit? Their will. Will. That's right. You break a person's spirit, you break their will. That's right. Huh? That's right. So the sacrifice of God, the offering, mm -hmm. when you begin to offer yourself up. Amen. By coming to God. That's right. The sacrifices, what? Are a broken spirit. Are a broken spirit. Your will. That's it. To do wickedness must be broken. That's right. That's You'll right. come off the dance floor shaking like a fool, mm -hmm. making a perfume out yourself. Amen. You'll come out that dance hall. Having a man grind in front of you and a man grinding back of you, and you're just jumping in the middle like a fool. Amen. That's right. Yes, 
you come out of that dance hall dancing like a hoe. Amen. Fella, you will come out that cage hoisted up in the air with, with gold drawers. <laughs> That's right. Huh? That's right. You will come out of it. You will come out of her, my people. Out of her. That's right. Woman, you will come out of that cage with a big python around your neck, a snake. That's right. Amen. Dancing with flashing lights. That's hmm. right. Fella, you will come off the floor being a male stripper. That's right. Wearing three pounds. That's right. That's right. You will come off that floor. Amen. One thing about the scriptures, it is designed to pull you out of everything in life. That's right. But you have to want to come out of her. That's right. You want to come out. Is that right? That's right. If you don't want to come out, it is not going to force you out. You must be willing to struggle. That's right. Like the child struggled to come out of the womb. Amen. Amen. Listen. The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit. The sacrifices of God, of God are a broken spirit. A broken and a contrite a heart. A broken oh and a contrary heart. Contrite heart. Contrite heart. Oh God. Oh God. Thou wilt not despise. Thou wilt not despise. Amen. So your will, your appetite, your desire... To live for your father, the devil, hmm. must be broken. Broken. That's right. Slowly but surely, it will begin to diminish. That's right. Ain't going to happen overnight. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> takes time for it to diminish. Because to break a person's spirit takes time. Yes, it does. It takes a lot of time to break a person's spirit for doing wrong. That's right. Break brother, up. The, the flesh love to do wrong. Amen. Amen. Take some heart to break it. That's right. That's right. Not someone lay hands on you like Benny Hinn. Mm -hmm. That chicken can't break your spirit. <laughs> that hen can't break your spirit. No. He make him break your wallet. That's right. But he can't break your spirit. Amen. The prophet Hosea teaches us. In Hosea chapter 10 and at verse 12. What is it? Sow to yourselves in righteousness. Sow to yourselves in righteousness. Reap in mercy. Reap in mercy. Break up. Break up. Your fallow ground. Break it up. That's it. The first ground that must be broken is the body. Amen. So once the heart become broken, then God begin to deal with that stony heart because now the foreskin begin to be removed slowly. Slowly. That's right. You'll find that murderer. You'll find that drug dealer. You'll find that thief. Mm -hmm. You'll find that wicked man and wicked woman. Heart begin to melt by the heat of the scripture. That's right. And all of a sudden you'll find the repentance. Sometimes you hear him say, I don't know what's wrong with me. That's right. Why, why am I crying like this? Mm -hmm. Thought you was too tough, didn't you? Amen. Thought you was a bad man. That's right. What's wrong with me? Why am I crying? Mm -hmm. Maybe I'm sick. Yes, you are sick. That's right. God is starting to pull you Amen. from darkness. From darkness. And when God starts to gradually pull you to darkness, the more you get to light, the more the light starts to deal with your heart. Conviction settle in. That's right. Then you'll find that man or woman crying out. I want to be baptized. Amen. What shall we do? Not no artificial altar call. No. You that want to come to Christ, come on up to the altar. And the choir in back singing, for you I'm praying. Mm -hmm. And everybody coming up with an umbilical cord attached to the world. That's right. Huh? That's true. Dragging the umbilical cord, the afterbirth and everything. You're in a mess. Amen. You stand here holding some crazy preacher hand. Mm -hmm. All of them just linked one to the other. To the other. That's right. Holding the preacher's hand. Mm -hmm. The preacher said, repeat after me. Dear Lord, I am a sinner. Wash me. Cleanse me white as snow. And the preacher said, you accept Christ. You're saved now. Saved right then. You're still in the placenta. That's right. That's right. After birth, still all over you. Yes. You're not a new creature. No. You just got the form. Form of godliness. 
You must repent of your sins mm -hmm. and be baptized in the name That's right. of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. That's right. That's right. Get me. Amen. God, I'm going to take that apart take too. That. That's it. You must repent mm -hmm. and be baptized, Amen. every one of you, right. in, in the name. Father, Son, and I got to pause there. Yeah, that's right. In the name. That's right. Of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. Huh? Right. Amen. I want to pause before you get excited and say, I done that. <laughs> because I want to explain it, then you can find out whether you really done it or not. That's right. Many of you have been baptized in the words, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, right. but not the name, name. Right. of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. That's the difference. That's right. That's right. If I've been baptized in the words, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, then that's all the preacher said. Mm -hmm. He just repeated what Jesus said. That's he right. didn't do what Jesus said. That's right. Notice Matthew 28, 19, the Great Commission. Go ye therefore and teach all nations. That's what you folk need. Mm -hmm. You need some teaching. Teachings. Huh? That's right. That way you can get your thumb out your mouth. You can get that religion out your mouth. That's it's right. still sucking on religion. Amen. Do you understand? That's, That's right. right. The scripture says. Go ye therefore and teach all nations. Go ye therefore. Teach them. That's teach them. Right. While they're shouting. Teach them. That's right. Teach the preacher. Amen. No matter because you right. went to some Bible college. Teach the dummy. That's right. Teach them. He need teaching. He needs it. He need teaching so he become qualified to teach others. That's right. Why? He ain't born again. Amen. Imagine that you got a sinner talking about Jesus and he's not born again himself. That's right. He reason why he think he's born again because he just said, "Well, I confess my sins, O oh Lord. I believe you rose from the dead, and I'm saved." Okay. You're not. That's right. That's well, right. the Bible said, "If I confess with my mouth the Lord Jesus mm -hmm. and believe he rose from the dead." I shall be saved. Shall be. Well, that's true. That's a promise made to you. That's all that is. That's all. That's yeah? all it is. Just told you what you do and you made a promise. That's right. Shall be saved. You know, like a bank. Promise if you put some money in there, you get interest. Mm -hmm. If you put some money in the bank, thou shalt get interest. That's right. But when you put it in there, you don't get interest right away. No. No, no. You got to tear it. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. You got to tarry. Mm -hmm. Wait for your interest to come. Amen. Huh? That's right. So after you believe, believe. and you repent, mm -hmm. you shall be saved. Shall be. shall be. You're not yet. Shall be. For Jesus said in Mark 16, 16. He that believeth. And what? And is baptized. No, just believe. He that believeth and is baptized. Just believe. He that believeth and is baptized. He that believeth and just atone. He that believeth and is baptized. No, just atone once a year. He that believeth and is baptized. He that believeth and visit the old folk home. He that believeth and is baptized. See, some of you out there, your religion teach you, visit, and you many of you dedicated to doing that too. You go mm -hmm. visit the old folks at a home, visit the senior citizens, you go to shelters, you know, you get in the line and feed folk. Uh, some food and whatnot, and hey man, you give someone a bedspread, a quilt, and That's some right. stockings, and some socks, and some shoes. You donate clothing, and the hey amen. Amen. That's right. And then you go away saying, I'm born again. I'm a Christian mm -hmm. because I gave to the poor, and I fed hungry, and I clothed naked. That's right. You're not a Christian. <laughs> you just done some little things that Jesus did. That's it. Hmm? That's right. That's all you did. That's right. What, what, what did I do? You gave alms. That's right. To the people. To the people. That's all Cornelius did. Mm -hmm. Gave alms to the people. <laughs> he was an alms giver. Amen. Done a lot of righteous deeds. Good deeds. But Cornelius was not born again. That's right. Glory to God until Cornelius started praying. Mm -hmm. And prayer, after he prayed, he wasn't born again either. Yeah. Amen. See, you folk, you go out here praying and sinners prayer, they say you're born again. Cornelius wasn't born again right after he done praying. How did you get born again? That's right. The angel gave him 
instructions. Send men to Joppa. Gave him a man name. He said, well, you send men to Joppa. Call for one Simon whose surname call is Peter. Call for one Simon. His real name is Peter. He larger one Simon a tanner. Mm -hmm. His house is by the seaside. Now, when he comes, tell thee what thou oughtest to do. He'll tell you what you ought to do. I'm just an angel. That's it. I can't help you with that part. That's right. I'm not sent to teach you. I'm not sent to preach to you. Mm -hmm. I'm not sent to give you revelations. That's right. I desire to look into those things. That's right. But uh, there's a man that God sent. Mm -hmm. I know where he's at. <laughs> He'll tell you what you ought to do. You ought to do. That's then right. here come Peter after the three men came from Cornelius' house and the Lord told him, go with them. Go with them. Don't doubt nothing. That's right. And when Peter went to the Italian man house, mm -hmm. while Peter had spake the word, the Holy Ghost fell. Fell on all of them. The spirit of the living God fell. That's right. Upon all of them. All of them. It came down from heaven while Peter was preaching the word. That's while right. While Peter was preaching, the spirit fell. That's right. The spirit fell from heaven and out of his mouth. That's right. But Jesus said, the word that I speak unto you are spirit and they are life. Amen. Came out of his mouth, came from heaven, from heaven. and got in them and upon them. That's right. Now, after they received the birth of the spirit. Of the spirit. Peter. Mm -hmm called their attention to the birth of the water. For they heard them speak with tongues listen, and magnify God. Listen. In Acts chapter 10 and at verse 46. Get this. You folk walking around, I got the Holy Spirit. Right. I got the Holy Spirit. I got the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> Holy right. Spirit indeed. <laughs> How in the world you have the Holy Spirit, which you're saying God is in you, yet you protest and fight against what God said. That's right. God ain't never guided you to fight against his own word. No. God getting a man and a woman to make them submit to the word. That's right. Amen. Yes, sir. That's and right. you mean to tell me you preachers out there saying to people you don't have to be baptized? Mm -hmm. You don't have to be baptized? Amen. You don't? My Lord. You don't? My Lord. Before I get the spirit, let's finish up the water. Give me the book of Peter. Mm -hmm. You've never been saved That's without right. baptism. First Peter chapter 3. I know your preacher said water don't save nobody. He's a no liar. Lies. Who? You? That's right. What I'm saying, you've been baptized? No, you're not saved. That's right. I said I'm saved. I said you're not. <laughs> Amen. I don't care what you say. All right, but that you won't hear me, let's hear the Bible. First Peter chapter 3, beginning let's verse see, 20. Let's see, does water save anybody? Anybody. Anybody. That's right. Yeah? That's right. Come on, sir. With some time we're disobedient. That's what you are now, you hard head, stiff neck, high-minded, hell-bound, Bible-carrying church goer. That's right. Disobedient. You're disobedient. When once the long suffering of God waited when in the once days the of Noah. When once the long suffering of God waited in the days of Noah. While the ark was a preparing. While the ark was getting ready. Wherein few that is eight few, souls. That is eight souls. Were saved by water. Were saved by water. The like figure whereunto. The like figure whereunto. Even baptism. Even baptism. Doeth also now save us. Do you hear that? Amen. Baptism. Now, please tell me, viewer. Mm -hmm. You that's in all these religious orders that got a dry clean salvation. That's right. How did you get the spot of sin right. out of your life that's right. with no water? That's right. That's right. You got dry clean? Yeah, yeah, I know you're dry clean. You <laughs> fed your mouth, believe in your heart, you are saved. No, right. you're not. You still got spots. Spots. Right. That's right. You hold the hand of a dirty preacher and he gave you a sinner's prayer. Nope, spots. Spots. That's right. Spots. That's equal to trying to go back into the womb. Amen. And be born because you're using darkness to get right. That's right. right. That's right. Listen. The light figure whereunto even baptism. The light figure whereunto even baptism. Doeth also now when, save now. When now. When now. When now. Do what? Save us. No, baptism don't save nobody. Baptism doeth also now save us. Baptism don't save nobody. Baptism doeth also now save I'm us. I'm saved and I've never been baptized and I'm a bishop. Baptism doeth also now save us. 
Well, I'm saved, and I'm a bishop, and head over church. I don't need no baptism, church of God in Christ. Yes, you do. Baptism doeth also now save us. You churches. That's right. You churches. Amen. You churches. That's right. I don't care how large your organization is. That's right. If you're not baptized, baptized. in the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. your bishop, your overseer, your founder, That's right. your followers, all of you all are right. still in sin. That's you're right. sinners. Sinners. That's right. Amen. That's, hmm? right. That's right. Spots in your feast. Down there worshiping their spots around there. Spots. Listen. In Jude 1 and at verse 12. Come on, son. These are spots in your feast Glory of charity. Glory to God. Do you hear? That's right. You walk around there with a shelter and giving money and all that stuff, a soup line and clothing naked people and got a nursery home and all that. Oh, and man. amen. That's right. Glory to God. Spots. But your feast is your wish up. That's right. And the Lord our God said there are spots. These are spots in your feast These of charity. These are spots in your feast of love. When they feast with you. You got these television programs on, the preacher just singing them, bouncing around and shouting them, bouncing around That's right. and making an altar call and telling the folks on the television, you are looking right me and, and looking at me now, touch the television and repeat after me and the Lord will come in your heart. Right. He will not. Amen. That's right. Touching television don't get God in your heart. It give you a warm hand. Amen. Did you hear what I said? Go ahead. Touching television. Don't go put your hand on television while I'm preaching. Plain. That's right. And then write me and say you're born again. You are the devil. Amen. You're still a sinner. Still a sinner. Hey, sinner, get your hand off the television and put him in your pocket. That's right. And sit down and hear what the Bible said. That's right. You must be baptized. Must, must be. That's right. Jesus said, don't be surprised at what I said to you. Must you be must born be born again. again. Must be. So when you repent of your sins, you have to go down in water. How? How? How must I be baptized in the name Jesus of Christ. the Lord Jesus? That's it. That's the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Jesus said, go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptize, baptize them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Baptize them in the name of. That's right. Baptize them in the name of. That's it. I'm going to sign my check in the name of the son right. and the father and the husband. That's right. Which I am. That's right. I'm going to sign it in my name. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to put on their son. No. You're not getting my money. No, no. I'm not going to put on their pastor. That's right. You're not getting nothing, I say. That's right. I'm not going to put on their father. Amen. The money still is mine. That's right. Hmm? That's right. But when I put my name, Jennings. Glory to God that brings resurrection to the check. That's right. The check will come resurrected. Amen. And the power will begin moving in the bank. That's, huh? right. That's right. And the money come out. That's right. And someone is just a little bit richer. Amen. Is that right? That's right. You got to take the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. The name of the Comforter. That's the it. name of the I Am. That's right. The name of the Healer. Amen. The name of the Creator. And apply it in baptism. And the name of God is the Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. That's right. That's right. Here's a man in the scripture called upon God mm -hmm. by his name. In Acts chapter 7 and verse 59. Follow me. And they stoned Stephen calling upon God. They stoned Stephen calling upon G-O-D-S. G-O-D. G-O-D-S. G-O-D. Your father make you opposite. That's right. You call upon three. That's why you're not getting no help. That's right. Hmm? Amen. That's why you're baptized wrong. You got too many gods, so you're left with a bunch of confusion. confusion. Mm -hmm. The one God have no rival and have no partners. That's right. Huh? That's right. He's God alone, and we associate none with him ahead, before him or beside him. Go ahead. Bless him. And they stoned Stephen calling upon God. They stoned Stephen calling upon God. And saying. He called God by what name? Lord Jesus. Amen. He called God by what name? Lord Jesus. Now, television view and hard head shepherd. That's right. You're the stubborn one. Amen. 
you got the people believing you already born again you already saved it's mm -hmm. in the blood it's in the blood right. it is not it's in the blood and the water and the water that's right both not just in the blood it's in the blood and, and the water that's right go ahead two elements go ahead come out of one body that's right so now when I'm baptized in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, then the preacher got to actually call that name, right. use that name mm -hmm. when he actually baptized me. That's right. Because in baptism, that's a deed. That's a deed. That's right. And when I perform the baptism, I have to utter words. Whatsoever ye do. So now I got a commandment, That's a right. scriptural commandment locked down upon me. And Colossians 3 and verse 17. I want you to get this Muslim, Mormon, Jehovah Witness, mm -hmm. Mason, Elk, Shriners, everybody. And whatsoever glory ye to do. God, glory to God. Amen. The scripture says. And whatsoever ye do. Whatever you do. In word. In word. Or deed. D. Do all in the name of the Lord Jesus. No, do all, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Do all in the name of the Lord Jesus. Do all, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Everybody that been baptized any other way, mm -hmm. apart from the name of the Lord Jesus, have to go back to okay. water. That's right. Not go back to the womb. That's go right. back to water. Amen. Not go back to darkness. But go back to water. That's right. Not go back to the placenta, to the afterbirth, mm -hmm. but go back to water. That's Everybody right. that have not been baptized mm -hmm. in the name of Jesus Christ, go preacher, and everybody must go, go back to the water. See, here is water. Glory to, hallelujah. Glory to God. That's right. Do you hear the scripture says? In Acts chapter 8 and verse 36. See, see, here is water. Here it is. That's right. Water. Lord, that God hears water. What doeth hinder What's me, stopping me to be baptized? From being baptized. What's stopping you? That's right. Well, well I'm saved already. No, you're not. No, you're not. That's you're right. saved from what? That's right. What you saved from? <laughs> well, Jesus, he paid it all. With what? <laughs> Amen. That's right. With blood. Were you there? Mm hmm When he shed it? That's it. Were you there at the cross? That's right. That's it. You got to get that blood. That's right. You got to get washed in it. Wa that's right. Listen. That's they right. pierced him in the side. Now came blood and water. And water. Now when that blood and water, bless God, ran down his body. Mm -hmm. When it ran down his body, it was running down on the earth. That's and right. that blood and water must come on upon this earth. That's it. Upon our temple. That's right. When you're baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus, that's when you take a temple. Mm -hmm. That's when you take a member, a body, a human body, that's flesh. Right. That's right. And natural body and take it down in water. In water. And when you call upon the name of the Lord Jesus, mm -hmm. that's when the blood. That's it. Is applied. That's right. To that body. That's right. And then that gives the water its cleansing power. That's it. That's why he came and took on water and blood. And blood. They just come take on blood only. Mm -hmm. So you that say you don't need no baptism, tell the people why blood was mingled in water when it came out of his side. Amen. Even in the days of Moses, they was baptized in the cloud. That's right. And in the, in the sea. sea. And in the sea. Huh? Under right. Moses. Under Moses. Lord. Now one of the one greater than Moses came on the scene. That's right. And here these old false prophets who's not greater than neither. That's right. <laughs> Amen. Something different. Oh, false prophet come on the scene, not greater than Moses, not greater than Jesus, not greater than not even greater than the devil. That's right. That's right. They don't need no baptism. That's right. Say. Dry, clean, false prophet. Amen. Amen. Hmm? Baptism. That's why when you get a suit of clothing or a dress or a blouse, when it get dirty, you got to check out the label. That's right. Or if they got so you know what kind of cleaning solution needed. That's right. Huh? Amen. Thank God your label, television viewers and you that are here, mm. calls for water. Water. That's right. You know, dry clean here. Wash you. The scripture says. Wash you. The scripture says. In Isaiah 1 and verse 16. Wash you. Dry clean you. Wash you. You dirty thing. That's right. Who? You. Mm -hmm. You're dirty. Amen. No matter if you're rich. You're that dirty rich man. That's it. You're dirty, full of filth and wickedness. 
booze, drank your party lover. That's right. You're no Christian. No Christian. You're dirty. Amen. Who? You are. Mm -hmm. And your mama. That's right. And your grandmother. That's right. And your wife and your children. Amen. And at time you're not born again, you're dirty in sin. That's it. I don't care if you are an imam, a priest, mm. a monk, a rabbi, you must be born must all over again. That's right. Listen. Wash you. You hear what the prophet says? Still in Isaiah 1 and verse 16. Wash you. Wash you, make you clean. Do you hear? Do you hear? Do you hear? Amen. You must get washed. Mm -hmm. You get clean. Clean. I would say, well, if baptism is all that, <laughs> what a, well, if I sin, I must have to go back in water. No. 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 Yeah. Jesus didn't just die twice. That's right. God of a man sin, he got to advocate with the Father. That's right. That's right. What do you mean? Now I can come to God for repentance. Right. But there's a sin that I have on me that I inherited. Mm -hmm. That repentance don't bother. Why? I can't repent for something I didn't do. Didn't do. That's right. That stuff got to be washed. Washed. Washed away. Do you understand? Amen. That stuff must be washed. That's right. Take a certain remedy, mm -hmm. certain solution. That's right. That's why you must have blood and water. Blood and water. And the way I get that is in baptism. Let's just trail through the book of Acts mm -hmm. and check out every place mm -hmm. where the apostles went and baptized. Every place where the apostles preached this new birth. That's How right. did they do it? First, they're walking around here mm -hmm. in all these different denominations and religions, talking about you're born again, you're a Christian. No, you're not. That's right. Still in the womb. That's right. Struggling to come out. My Amen. God, your water haven't even broke yet. Amen. Water haven't broke. Mm -hmm. Preacher still in the living room waiting for you to come out. That's right. You're still in the womb. False church been carrying you too long. Amen. Huh? Amen. False church is pregnant with a bunch of folks. That's right. Huh? That's right. It's high time to wake out of sleep. That's right. Listen. First in Acts 2 and verse 38. What is it? Then Peter said unto them, Repent. Repent and be baptized. Every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ. For what reason? For the remission of sins. What's the result? And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Keep traveling. Acts chapter 8, beginning at verse 15. Follow me. Who when they were come down, pray for them. Now, Philip the evangelist was down in Samaria. Mm -hmm. Okay, God doing an excellent job. That's right. Thank God. And while he was down there laboring, bless God, he ran upon a eunuch. Mm -hmm. And then when he ran upon that eunuch, the eunuch was reading from the book of Isaiah. Of Isaiah. And then Philip asked him, do you understand what you read? He said, I cannot accept some man guide me. That's right. Then Philip was led by the Spirit and drew nigh to the chariot. And then he went to the same scripture and preached Jesus. Preached Jesus. Then the eunuch declared, here's water what hindered me. Be baptized. For being baptized. That's right. And then what did Philip say? And Philip said, if thou believest with all thy all heart. All right. Yeah, here we here we right back at belief again. That's right. Hmm? That's right. This lets you know what you gotta do before you're baptized. Mm -hmm. He said, What? And Philip said, If thou believest with all thine heart. You believe with all your heart, yeah. thou mayest. I would say, well, the Philip didn't tell him to be baptized. He did. Yes, he did. So I, say, I didn't hear what he said when he said, thou mayest. Thou mayest. That's right. That's it. Well, when did he say that be baptized? Mm -hmm. Because the eunuch asked him. And as they went on their way. <laughs> as you went on his way. They came unto a they certain came water. came to certain water. And the eunuch said. The eunuch said. See, here is water. See. Here's a statement first. That's see. Right. Hey, here's water. What doeth hinder me to be baptized? What's stopping me from being baptized? And Philip said, if But I remember, believe. Philip preached Jesus. That's right. Then Philip opened his mouth and began at the same scripture and preached unto him Jesus. So how can the eunuch come up with the conclusion he got to be baptized? Go ahead. When Philip just preached Jesus. That's right. Huh? That's right. Notice, Go ahead. do you see how detailed this is? Amen. The eunuch acts for baptism. That, that's right. But Philip preached Jesus. Jesus. Amen. 
how are you out there preaching Jesus Go ahead, man. and nobody asked for baptism? That's right. That's right. Do you hear the old troublemaker? Go ahead. Go ahead. Huh? Go ahead. That's right. Philip opened his mouth. Opened his mouth. And began at the same scripture. And began to preach on the same scripture. And preached unto him Jesus. God, for if, you, if you're going to preach Jesus, mm -hmm. if you're going to preach Jesus, Jesus, because you got to remember, the eunuch wasn't reading the New Testament. No. Read the prophet Isaiah. He read the prophet Isaiah, which is the prophet Isaiah. That's right. Huh? That's right. So he read the prophet Isaiah. How in the world are you going to come up with baptism? That's right. Amen. Huh? That's right. He read from the that's prophet right. Isaiah. Isaiah. That's right. Read from the prophet that's Isaiah right. and came up with New Testament baptism. That's right. That's right. Well, what did Isaiah say about baptism? Wash you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Do you hear that? Amen. Give chapter and verse. Isaiah chapter 1 and verse 16. And this is what the unit, the unit was reading from the prophet Isaiah. Uh, that's right. And that prophet said, Wash you. Get washed. Wash Glory you. to God. That's right. Hey! Wash you. Get washed. Make you clean. I want to say, well, the Bible said he was read by the prophet Isaiah, but yet Philip preached Jesus. That's right. Being washed on time with Jesus, Jesus said, you're clean through the word that I That's speak unto you. you. That's right. Huh? That's right. You're clean through the word through that the I word. speak unto you. That's right. Who's going to speak to you? Go Emmanuel. Ahead. Go ahead. Yeah? That's right. He's going to come and be God with us. That's right. He's going to speak to you. Amen. See, I, 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 I Go got to conclude that you got to be baptized. And you, what what's going to bring about that baptism? Go ahead. The sermon about Jesus. About Jesus. What did Isaiah say about Jesus that tie in about baptism mm -hmm. and blood? Who is that? Right. That's coming from Edom. That's right. Dad you got a Don Gomez on. That's right. Thursday right. God. That is from glorious in his apparel. He's glorious in his apparel and he's chevelling. Greatness of his strength. And give me the 63rd chapter book of Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 63. And the 63. greatness of his strength I, is mighty to save. I, wherefore art thou ready? Listen, listen. Go ahead. Hear what the prophet said about him. Isaiah 63 and at verse 2. Wherefore art thou red? Art thou red? In thine apparel. When did you become red in your apparel? Go ahead. When they press you in the side. That's right. Out came blood and water. That's right. Your apparel. That's right. Got dyed. That's right. Just like the wool of a lamb get dyed when you slay it. Go ahead. It becomes scarlet. That's right. His apparel. Go ahead. What's his flesh? Go ahead. Eh? Amen. And when his flesh got dyed, it got dyed with the blood because it was pierced. That's right. The Bible says what? Wherefore Art thou red in thine apparel? You're red. Red. In your apparel. And thy garments like and him. And thine garments. Thine garments. garments. That's right. Like him. That treadeth in the wine that fat. That treadeth the wine fat. Wine fat. That's what right. is it? I have tried the wine have press tread alone. I the wine press alone. And of the people, and of there, was the none people with there was none with me. For I will tread them in I my anger. I will tread them in my anger. And trample them in and my fury. And trample them in my fury. And their blood. And what? Their blood shall be sprinkled. Their blood shall be sprinkled upon my garments upon my garment and I will stain and I will stain all my raiment you see Moses go ahead he took it that's right and sprinkled the book sprinkled the book and all the people and then sprinkled the people that's right the life of all flesh life in the blood in the blood when he shed blood that's right and it came from his side mm -hmm. he sprinkled the book by dying his garment that's right now, if you want to be sprinkled by that same blood, you must get water. That's right. And when you go down in water, the name of the sacrifice must be called over you. Let us draw near. Listen. In Hebrews chapter 10 and at verse 22. What is it? Let us draw near with a true heart. Come on. In full assurance of faith. Yes. Having our hearts sprinkled. Having our heart. Now, 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 just a minute. Amen. I want my Catholic folk get happy. That's right. That's right. Go tell me you see there. I tell you sprinklings in the Bible. Mm, that's not all. Not what you're talking about. That's right. Huh? That's right. Listen. Having our hearts sprinkled from an evil conscience. Having our hearts sprinkled mean touch. That's it. That's right. When someone sprinkles you with water, you just touch by it. That's right. Having our heart touched. That's right. From an evil from conscience. From an evil conscience. And our bodies. Do you get the language of the Bible? Amen. Having our heart touched. That's right. From an evil from conscience. From an evil conscience. And our bodies. And our bodies. Washed with pure water. Now, now, viewer, viewer. Amen. When you're sprinkled, you're not washed. 
That's right. Not even naturally. That's right. That's right. Go ahead. You ain't even washed ain't naturally washed. when you sprinkle. That's right. Go Take ahead. some water and sprinkle a po person. The water just touched them. That's, right. That's it. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Just touch them. That's it. But when it comes to baptism, mm -hmm. for your whole body to be washed, your whole body must body go down washed. in water as his body went to the grave. That's right. No, you're not. Do you hear this? Still in Romans now, chapter 6 and verse 3. Listen. Know ye not that so many of us as were baptized into Jesus Christ. What was it? Were baptized into his death. So you got to be baptized into his death. That's it. The water becomes a liquid grave. That's right. Equal to the grave that he went down in. Mm -hmm. Now, when he came out that grave, he came out with a new life. That's right. A glorified body. Yes, That's right. A resurrected body. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. When you come from the liquid grave, you come out walking in newness of life. Of life, because now you got a new outlook on life. It's like being in a new place. You got a new start. That's right. When a child comes from the womb, it has a new start. That's that's right. Go ahead. Go ahead. New life. Mm -hmm. Are you listening? That's right. Listen. Therefore, we are buried with him by baptism into death. All right. Death. All right. Amen. Everybody that's up these religions in the world, mm -hmm. what got to happen? We are buried with him by baptism. You bow death. your head and raise your hands. <laughs> You're still in sin. Still in sin. You're not saved. Your bishop, your pastor, your leader, your teacher, your guide, your minister, and whatever he called himself. Your little reverend. That's right. Cadillac like driving sinners. That's right. That's right. That's right. You that's watching me this morning, mm -hmm. this afternoon, and tonight, mm -hmm. a pulpit, a congregation right. of sinners. sinners. That's right. Many of you sincere too, crying, mascara running down your faces. Amen. Already God, lipstick is all smudgy. That's right. Amen. Jumping and shouting and breaking the heels of your shoes. My Lord. Wigs all lopsided from jerking. That's right. That's Contact right. is all, you lose them. Lose them. Amen. Sin's here. That's right. But you're not born again. Not born again. Now, Jesus told Nicodemus, mm -hmm. except the man is born of the water and, and of the spirit. Go back to Acts. Mm -hmm. Let's get every place where the apostles went and preached a new birth. Amen. All of you that are watching now must be born all over again. All over. That's right. I will ask one of you. That's right. Even old Bush, he ain't born again. No. And a man right man say, I'm appalled. You speak against your Christian brother. Bush, he's of the devil. Yes, he is. Bush ain't my brother. No. He's the son of the devil. That's it. Child of hell. That's right. A student of the Satan. That's right. Mm? Hmm. He's not my brother. No. He's just a political devil <laughs> that needs to be born again. That's right. Huh? That's right. That's the truth of it. Amen. So I'm saying he's your president. He is a president. <laughs> That's what he is a president. That's right. Are you listening? Amen. I'm just going to make some of you patriots upset, but that doesn't matter. Amen. Listen at the book. Acts chapter 8, beginning verse 12. I get my greatest fight from you that say you're born again, yes. which goes to show you you are the devil. That's right. Eh? That's right. There's only the devil children would fight scripture. Amen. Eh? That's right. I had a preacher called me from some part of the country. I forgot. I think it was from California. He said, I'm at Paul. <laughs> this is the worst Christian program. My I've Lord. ever seen. My Lord. He said, here's this man claim he represent Christ. He said, Jesus was patriotic, you old liar. That's a lie. That's right. <laughs> While if Jesus was walking the streets of Washington, D.C., he'd be right. blasting the White House. Amen. Wouldn't he be doing it? Yes, he would. Was there nothing patriotic about him? No, no. God, the only one he stood for was God. Think not that I, that I am come to send peace on earth. He didn't come to send peace. That's right. He didn't come to bring peace. He didn't come no. saluting flags and saluting flags. singing national anthems. No. No, he didn't do that. No way. Go and say, well, what did he mean when he said render to Caesar? Things of the Caesar. The thing that are Caesar. Mm -hmm. And render to God the things of, God. That, are, that are God. Well, we believe that. That's it. We give the government what's due them as long as they don't violate the Bible. That's right. 
If the government wants us to do anything or go anywhere or say anything that violates the laws of God first, we put God's law first and the government don't be on the agenda. That's right. We are not going to break the concepts of God that we may get pleasure from the government. From the government. We won't even break God's law to get a grant from the government. Amen. Government don't want to give us a grant because of our belief. They give you old money. We ought to obey God. The Bible says we ought to obey God. Rather than men. That's our stand. That's it. That's our stand we have now. That's our stand we have when God take us out of the world. That's right. Come on, sir. Back in Acts chapter 8 and verse 12. What is it? But when they believed Philip preaching the things concerning the kingdom of God. Yes. And the name of Jesus Christ. They were baptized, both men and women. Yes. Then Simon himself believed also. And when he was baptized, he continued with Philip and wondered, beholding the miracles and signs which were done. Who was baptized? Simon himself. Now, let me pause here. Mm -hmm. Many of you say, mm -hmm. well, if the baptism was for everybody, mm -hmm. where did the apostles get it? Right. Let me answer that question. Right. I show you when did they get it, and I show you who gave it to them. That's right. I'm gonna get two scriptures. One where people think they never had it, and then we're gonna balance it with the one that said they received it. That's right. Listen closely. First in St. John chapter three. St. John chapter three and at verse twenty-two. After these things came Jesus. After. These things, came Jesus, Jesus came. And his disciples. And his disciples, his followers. Into the land of Judea. Jesus, the subject is Jesus. Right. And he came mm -hmm. with his disciples. Into the land of Judea. Came into the land of Judea. And Jesus did with Jesus. his disciples. That's right. And while he was with his disciples. And there he tarried with them. There he was waiting with them and baptized and he that was waiting with them did the baptizing that's right that's right he baptized peter that's he right. baptized john that's right he baptized judas amen he baptized matthew right he baptized his disciples that's right why they can't preach and tell me to be born again, mm -hmm. and they themselves wasn't born again themselves. That's right. Amen. That's right. That's right. Amen. Amen. That's right. Go ahead. All right, now let's get St. John, Saint John chapter, four, chapter 4 and verse 2. And let's get the language of the scriptures. Glory to God. Though Jesus himself. Here it is. That's right. Here it is. That's right. Though Jesus, the Messiah himself, baptized not, baptized not but but his disciples now listen at this that's right it sound like his disciples was the only one that baptized mm -hmm. because they say jesus baptized not not but his disciples that's right but there's a language you got to pull from that that's right and it's a hebrew language hebrew that's right you know, Hebrew, I'm told, is backward from English. Mm -hmm. We would say Jesus baptized none, none. That's right. but his disciples. That's right. Jesus didn't come Go ahead. to baptize everyone he ran up on. No. No, no. He come to teach men, make them into students, mm -hmm. teach them how to be a witness of him, of him. give them the new birth, Send them out to teach the new birth right. and teach the people to receive what he gave them. That's, right. That's it. Why? He only was here a short time. That's right. So now, after they were baptized, mm -hmm. he come along ascending above all heavens right. after resurrection time. Yes, That's right. And now his disciples go out preaching something different from what you folk preaching now. That's right. Why? They bear witness of him. You don't, you ain't never bear witness of him. No. You ain't walk with him. You ain't talk with him. You ain't seen him. You ain't heard from him. <laughs> That's right. Huh? That's right. My God, you left with no choice but to come up with something different. Amen. Here they don't walk with him, talk with him, handle him, ate with him, bear witness of his performances in the flesh, mm -hmm. baptized by him, received the Holy Ghost from him. From him. 
and then went preaching him. That's right. So here did the eunuch reading about the prophet Isaiah, mm -hmm. and that there was all over with. How, how can I be baptized? That's right. After the preaching. After, the After Brother Philip preached Jesus, the right. eunuch wanted to know, huh? Here's water. Here's water. What stopped me to be baptized? That's right. And then Philip said, And Philip said, If thou believest with all thine heart, you believe all your heart. Believe what, Philip? All what you read. That's, That's right. it. If you believe all what you read and believe all what I taught, thou mayest, thou mayest, thou mayest. get your request. That's right. You may be baptized. Hey, viewer, mm -hmm. if you believe what the scripture truly said about Jesus, right. thou Amen. mayest be baptized. Thou mayest. That's right. Amen. That's right. What happened? And he answered and said, I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. I believe. I mm -hmm. confess. Confessed it. That Jesus Christ <laughs> was the servant of God. That's it. Hmm? That's right. That's what that's talking. Right. I believe that Jesus Christ was the Son of God. I believe that Jesus Christ was the true Messiah. That's it. I believe he is the one that Isaiah talked about that I read about. Mm -hmm. I was reading from the book of Isaiah. I believe that's the one. That's it. I believe he was the Emmanuel God with us. That's right. I believe that. Mm -hmm. What else? And he commanded the chariot to stand still. Yes. And they went down both into the this water. This eliminate you out there saying is talking about baptized with the Holy Ghost. That's right. Right. They ain't talking about that here. No. no they no. went down both. Both into the water. Both Philip. Both Philip. And the eunuch. And the eunuch. And he baptized him. He baptized him. And when they were come up out of the water, the spirit. Hey, you come out of it. Come, that's right. You got to go in it. That's right. You can't come up out of a bowl. <laughs> no. No, you can't. Catholics, you out there being sprinkled? That's right. You can't come out of a bowl? They went down both into the water. They went down both into the bowl. Into the water. That's right. Thank God, this is a divine precept. Amen. How can I mm -hmm. go back? And to my mother's womb. And be born. And be born. How can you go to a bowl? That's right. And be born. That's right. That's right. How can you go back to a bowl? A bowl. And be born. Go playing with water. Amen. The scripture says. And he commanded the chariot to stand still. That's what you have to do. Everything that hit me right now. Stop your car. Stop your chariot. That's right. That's right. God, stop driving the church. Amen. Stop your whole church service. Mm -hmm. The preacher's got to stop your whole church service. You, preacher, must be baptized over and all of your following. That's right. All of them. If you believe in Jesus. If thou believest, I, thou God, glory to God, just like when the eunuch was reading about Jesus. That's and right. from that, from, from Philip preaching Jesus, the conclusion was, mm -hmm. what hindered me from being baptized? That's right. You mean to tell me you preach, you preach Jesus so much in these churches? And you come with no baptism for conclusion? No baptism. Let us say the conclusion of the whole matter. Be Amen. baptized. That's it. That's right. That's right. Repent, Repent and be baptized. That's it. Amen. God, let's get the conclusion of it. Amen. It ain't, it, ain't, it ain't that much Jesus and nobody, church. You gonna fight baptism? Fight it. Mm -hmm. Come on, sir. And Philip said, if thou believest with all thine heart, thou believe it. That's why I preach baptism. Right. God, I believe this stuff with all my heart. That's right. And I preach it strong. Strongly. Mm -hmm. What's the result? And he answered and said, I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Oh, I believe that. Mm -hmm. I believe Jesus Christ is the servant of God. That's right. Manifest in the flesh. That's it. And I believe he offered up by that body once for all through the eternal spirit. Right. Was placed down in the sepulcher, flesh and bones was. Mm -hmm. Then the eternal God, master of all creation, right. came in that body that lost the blood in the water. That's right. Because life had to come from somewhere. Mm -hmm. And the spirit got in that body, taking the place of the blood, yes. and resurrected that body. Mm -hmm. It was sown a natural body it and was raised a body. spiritual body. That's right. And then he walked around here for 40 more days for a period of time and then was taken up into heaven, That's sitting it. on the right hand of the Father. That's right. That's right. What do you mean? He was taken up into heaven. Mm -hmm. Right hand mean power. power so he's right. taken up in the power of the spirit in the glorified body in the resurrection oh, yeah. life. That's right. And that he liveth, he lived by the power, power of, God. of God. That's right. Come on, son. And he commanded the chariot to stand still. Stop, chariot. Mm -hmm. What? And they went down both into the water. That's what you would do. Amen. You would get out of that Bentley. That's right. Get out that Cadillac, you get out that Jaguar, get that Mercedes, that Lincoln, that limousine. Right. 
When these T.E. Evangelists ride up in their limousine, tell them to get out and get repent out. and be baptized. That's right. That's huh? right. Thank them. These TV evangelists that you devils love to look at, all of them preach Jesus. Jesus, 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 right. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Sometimes they be singing with tears in their eyes. Oh, Jesus, work wonders. Oh, Jesus, the Lord love you. Give the Lord a hand clap. Oh, you That's fool. Right. That's right. A slow of heart. Slow of heart. Believe all what the prophet said. Amen. The eunuch read about Jesus. That's right. Philip preached preach Jesus. Jesus. That's right. The conclusion of the sermon of Jesus See, here is caused both to end up in water. In water. That's right. That's right. What about you? Mm -hmm. Hmm? Amen. Why you don't end up in water? Why you end up in some preacher's arms? That's right. Repeating That's a dry right. prayer. That's right. Why you end up in a toilet bowl? Hmm. Why? Mm -hmm. Why you end up in a closet? Confessing to a priest Amen. who's an altar boy lover. That's right. Why? That's right. Huh? That's right. Follow the book. Follow it. Mm -hmm. My God, before anybody build a building, they got to have blueprints. Mm -hmm. The scriptures is the guideline. That's who right. got to have baptism? Everybody. Is the Bible say everybody? Every yeah. one of you. Give me Acts 2 38. Then Peter said unto them, Repent. And be baptized, every one of you. Who? Every one of you. Who? Every one of you. Amen. Amen. Every one of you. Every last one of you. In the name of Jesus Christ. God don't care what color you are. Every last one of you. Every one of you. Must be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. That's right. That's the water. That's, That's it. Water. Baptism. Baptism. Verily, verily, I say to you, except the man is born of the water, water and of the spirit. When you're baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ, that's the water <laughs> baptism. Right. But then the Bible said born of the spirit. Of the spirit. Now let's get the spirit. That's right. That's right. Let's find out what is the spirit. What is the spirit? Mm -hmm. Now, many of you folks say you born of the spirit because you laugh. That's right. That's true. Yes, they no, do. they got this stuff now laughing for Jesus. Laughing the spirit. That's laughing for just walking around grinning for them. Just trying to make your muscles tired in your face. <laughs> folks laughing five, six hours nonstop. That's right. You're possessed of the devil. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> because when you serve God, ain't gonna be that much laughing. No, it won't. You may laugh sometime, but brother, you can be too busy praying more than you laughing. That's right. Am I right? That's right. Amen. Certainly you are. Amen. Ain't gonna be that much laughing. You may laugh sometime. Sometime. Your joy may cometh in the morning. Glory right. <laughs> to God. But there's gonna be some suffering going on here. That's right. Want it to be so. Amen. So when you're baptized now. Very, very, I say unto you, except the man be born of the water and of the spirit. spirit. Born of the water and of the, of the spirit. How must I be born of the spirit? That's it. You folks say you're born of the spirit because you got a good voice and you're saying. Mm -hmm. A lot of folks say, well, I go to a holy sanctified church because the people jump and shout. Hmm. Spirit made me run around the church. Mm -hmm. You watch these little television evangelistic liars. <laughs> I touch it. That's right. I had my children. Uh, we was we after we left service. I think it was last night or night before last. One night, uh, turned the television on. I was glad what they got a chance to see, <laughs> Benny Hinn. Mm -hmm. What I was teaching about mm -hmm. it was way past their bedtime, man. Even like eleven thirty or twelve midnight. But they would stand up, and my and my daughters and the boys were sleeping. Their daughters were looking at it. And I purposely, I said, well, y'all stay up and look at this. This is what your daddy been preaching about. <laughs> yes, right. Huh? Mm -hmm. God, I, I thank God for television. That's right. <laughs> Benny Hinn had the folk come up, and he touched him and just said, whoosh. My Lord. I ain't fell out. My Lord. My daughter said, <laughs> She said, that's ridiculous. <laughs> now, if a child knows that's child, ridiculous, that's, that's right. 13 and 11, God help you adults. Amen. 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 That's ridiculous. Ridiculous. Whoosh. My Lord. <laughs> then Benny Hinn was standing before the current game, maybe, maybe about 25 or 30,000 people. Mm. And yell, fire. My Lord. About 500 people fall on at one time. My Lord, my Lord. Turn to the choir stand. Don't even look at him, just say, 
whoosh. Everybody go down. Boom, 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 boom. Lord help. Lord help. Let, 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 let me try. Let, let me try. See what it works. <laughs> Let me try. Let me try it on. Can I try it on you, Will? Amen. Try. Can I try it on you. Try it. All right. All right. Remember the story about the three little pigs? <laughs> we like right. the last pig. Yes, we right. got a nice solid house. Solid house. Amen. The reason why you folks so easy to faint over that foolishness Amen. because you're building off sand, you're That's building right. off straw, you have no solid foundation. That's right. That's right. Amen. Got a solid foundation. Listen. When a Amen. man say he represent Christ, yes, Amen. you don't find Jesus walk around yelling fire. No, no, he was the fire. That's right. That's right. Whoosh! Amen. And oh. I nut fall out. Amen. Get that hypocrite off that stage. Get him off. It's show business. That's all. It's showtime. That's right. That's right. Nothing but hypocrisy. Amen. Jesus said in the seventh chapter of Matthew, Amen. Not everyone that saith unto me, you got the Holy Ghost given like the scriptures That's with it. the evidence of speaking in tongue. Amen. Amen. Listen, the Bible said, with a stammering lip and another Amen. tongue shall I speak unto my people. Yes. Mm -hmm. The scripture says, these signs shall follow them that believe with a new tongue. That's right. Then the Bible said he was all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues. Other tongues. Then the scripture says, they that speak in the unknown tongue speak of not unto man but unto okay. God. That's right. New tongue, unknown tongue, other tongue, same thing. Same thing. Same spirit. Why is the tongue new? Because I never spoke it before. Mm -hmm. And it's different from my native tongue. Why is it unknown? Because I don't understand the language thereof. For in the spirit I speak a mystery. Unless God give me or another the divine ability to interpret. That's right. That's right. Amen. That's right. So it's unknown to me. Is Amen. another tongue is different from my native tongue? It's new. Amen. I never spoke it before. But how is it given? By the spirit. By the spirit. Now you that say you have the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue. That's right. But yet your preacher can count one, two, three and tell you the Lord going to pass by. Amen. And you jump up with some garbage, some gibberish in your tongue. That's right. You're speaking unto men and not unto, not God. unto God. That's right. That's right. Many preachers teach the people, you start the tongues off. Mm -hmm. Then the Lord will pick it up. The Lord don't need no help from you. No, no, no help. There's one form of teaching about speaking with a new tongue. Mm -hmm. Some religions teach that when you speak with new tongue, it is not speaking in an unknown language, but you're speaking in a language God changed your speech from the foul mouth you used to have. That's one form. One form. But it's more than that. That's right. It's much more than much that. More. That's right. The Bible said this is the wonderful works of, works God, of God. Of God. Now, you out there that say you're born of the water and of the spirit. Mm -hmm. When you're born of the water, you're baptized in the water in the name of the Lord Jesus. When you're born of the spirit, you're filled with the spirit, by the spirit, from the spirit, speaking in tongue, That's as right. the spirit of the living God give utterance. That's right. That's the new birth. Amen. That's the way you're born again. born again. And when you come unto God in that manner, mm -hmm. then slowly you become revolutionized That's right. into a new creature. That's right. And then there's a religion you got to follow. Mm -hmm. 
It's the way of holiness. Way of holiness. That's right. Holiness now you got to follow. That's right. Not apostolic, not nothing else. Holiness. Holy. That's right. You got to follow holiness. Way of holiness. That's right. You got to follow that that always was. Always. God have never, and I want all my religious scholars to get this. God have never sent a prophet mm -hmm. or an apostle or a messenger of any kind and then told him to start religion. Never. Never. No, no. Neither did God give any prophet or messenger the right to get a religion and name it after him. That's right. Never. Judaism. Mm -hmm. Christianity. Amen. Not God's way. No, no. God said, be holy. Be holy. That's right. Holiness is the pressure <laughs> that brings me from darkness. That's right. Eh? That's right. Holiness is the pressure that brings me from darkness. That is the driving force right. that is, will drive me out of darkness successfully. Mm -hmm. It is written, holiness without which. No man shall see the Lord. No man shall see the Lord. So television viewers, what do you have? That's it. Many of you is hanging out of the womb, feet first. That's mm -hmm. right. Because your head is still in darkness. That's right. Your feet is loose, and I see it loose around your church. That's why you're jumping and shouting. That's right. But your head is still in the womb. Yeah. You're not free. You don't see. And that's why many is going around professing a new birth that is unscriptural, professing a new birth that have never been in the Bible, professing a new birth that's made up of men, started by men, and it will perish with men. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. You that are watching, you must be born all over again. That's right. Of the water and of the spirit. And of the spirit. Amen. If you don't have the baptism in the name of Jesus Christ, the Holy Ghost speaking in tongue, mm -hmm. you cannot, cannot enter into the kingdom of God. You can't get in. That's right. You can't get in. Preachers can promise you, the imam can promise you paradise. That's right. The preachers can promise you New Jerusalem without water and spirit on the not terms enter. of scripture. Amen. You will not Get in. That's right. I want to get into paradise. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And if the eunuch can hear the message of Jesus just from reading from the Old Testament. That's right. And end up in water with the preaching. That's right. Then how is it you never get in water and you read Old and New Old Testament? And new. Right. Amen. Preacher, preacher. You got to repent. Amen. That's right. Remember, you that hear this radio broadcast, Sunday morning, 